all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you uh, good morning for those who have a morning like me and good evening for those who live in far east uh, first thing come to my mind uh, you know i have some coffee next to me i said what if we have a coffee with with our lord the messiah now the muslim they might say huh, the christians want to have coffee with their god you see our god is so good to the point he humbled himself to drink coffee with someone like me one of the names of the god of islam is al mutakabbir he is the proud actually proud is not no it's not the correct word mutakabbir is somebody he show off like he is he think he is so like i mean when you say mutakabbir you compare yourself to who exactly I mean, if everything around you is your creation, it's a stupid of you to think this way. However, the question will be, if I am right now sitting in front of my Lord, my King, the King of Kings, the Messiah, and trust me, he will not mind. Remember, the Messiah, not only he would drink coffee with us, he washed the feet of his disciples. And not only that, he said to them, if you don't let me do it, you don't belong to me. So if I am sitting right now as a Christian with the Messiah, and if you are a Muslim, Muhammadan, sitting with Muhammad or Allah, Aka Allah, because we know that Muhammad is using the name of Allah for his benefit. What is the conversation will be about? What a Christian could ask Christ what they will talk about and what a Muslim will ask Muhammad about what do you think actually we will go back on time and then we see conversation happen between Muslims and Muhammad how they share uh, things together like what Muhammad and the Muslims they do when they talk what is the conversation let me see if I can find you some hadith I just came to my mind I think this website will not have it, but we can try. We look like we are getting closer. You see, I don't prepare for things. I mean, I just... Uh... Hmm. Until now, I find I don't I cannot find it. It's all right. let me find something else i hope this time we'll find it this one i have it saved because it's hard to find let me see no even this one we cannot find it now All right. 
This is a hadith. I will put it in the front of you. And remember, the translation is the translation of the Muhammadan. I have nothing to do with it. This is not my website. This is not my statement. This is their business. Muhammad in the morning drinking coffee with his wife. I'm not going to say camel urine, but let us assume it was coffee. Aisha said Allah Apostle in his fatal illness used to ask where I will be tomorrow, where I will be tomorrow. Seeking, seeking Aisha turns. His wife allowed him to stay whenever he wished. This is the conversation between Muhammad and Aisha and I don't know if he was drinking coffee or not. Why Muhammad saying in his death, where I will be tomorrow? If I am having a conversation now with the Lord and I ask him, where are you now, Lord? He will say right now I am in heaven. Actually, every single Muhammadan agree that the Messiah, the Christ, right now as we speak, he is in the heaven. As you see, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, so they cannot play the game of weak and, you know, you know the game. See, Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 4450. No, CP. The hadith is not Sahih, CP. <laughs> Aisha said, Allah Messenger, in his fatal illness, which means when he's dying, why a prophet of God who was promising heaven left and right? He is worried where he will be tomorrow, which means after death. You see, tomorrow, the guy, he know he's dying. Where I will be used to ask, used what? Used. It's not like one time, twice, three, used. How Muhammad is a prophet of God, sure from salvation, he himself is the last one to know where he will be tomorrow. No CP. He's asking when our flight CP. This is not about prophet he is not sure from salvation CP. The prophet is asking Aisha, did you buy the ticket for the train CP? Oh, okay. Because always they have their own, you know, uh, uh, funny answers. And this is a clear proof that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. The man now he's dying. He knew he is going to face his creator. If he believe in the creator. He knew he's a fraud. And he is so worried. Why Muhammad asking even Aisha, didn't he ask Allah before? Didn't Allah promise the Muslims heaven? If Muhammad himself is worried about where he will be tomorrow. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Any Muhammadan have anything to say? No CP. The Prophet is not worried about that CP. The prophet he is questioning after the Iranian they shut the airplane CP. Uh, can we fly over Tehran CP? The guy is dying in his fatal illness. Not only that, look what it says. So he stayed at Aisha house till he, till he expired. Expired. The prophet expired. I think I think the prophet expired a long time ago. He was with her. What expired? What you until he expired? The prophet expired? No CP. Learn English CP. It doesn't say expired CP. Uh, what did what did that say? Hmm? What what it does say? Hello?
until he expired he died yeah the battery died so Muhammad here he is speaking in the time of death because they might say to you oh this is not about him dying he is worried about tomorrow where he will be in hell or in fire or in heaven no he was worried about his train ticket is going to be expired thank you guys I know I know but I wonder why did not say the word died I mean expired is kind of uh, because here in Arabic it says until he died you know hmm. the prophet died on the day of my turn they have turn you know in my house and he was taken into Allah while his head was against my chest look how it's romantic and his saliva mixed with my saliva what's happening here Muhammad is dying and Aisha saliva is mixed with his saliva why the prophet saliva is coming out and why Aisha saliva is coming out what is that no CP no CP learn English CP it doesn't say saliva CV it says uh, Slovakia CP hmm. actually this is a proof that Muhammad he died in you know in a very very ugly death he died truly from poison you see, one person he die, what come from his mouth? Saliva. It come like a foam. The Shia they claim that Aisha is the one who killed him, Aisha and Hafsa. And this hadith here confirming something very weird. She confirmed that the last thing he came from him. It was saliva. And then the hadith continue and look I mean look what the story is about Muhammad is dead and his saliva is coming out Aisha added Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Bakr came carrying siwak you know siwak the thing they beat their women with supposedly their long root but they use it for their teeth too he was cleaning his teeth with uh, with Allah messenger look at I mean look, look how the story is mixed the guy is dead now and he look at and he is asking for the siwak I mean why they are mixing the story here what this is what this is about H have you ever heard of a book more stupid than this book the guy he is dead now so what do you mean Abu Abdul Rahman he came and he have miswak and then you know uh, uh, Allah messenger look at it and I said to him oh Abdul Rahman give me this miswak so he gave it to me and cut it off and chew it at the end and he gave it to Allah messenger like what a disgusting story did you notice what happened here the guy he chew the piece of wood in his mouth and then he put it in the mouth of the Prophet and they say to us, Islam is a hygiene religion. But how this has happened? The guy is dead. No CP. It did not say he is dead CP. It says he is expired CP. So while we are sitting with the Messiah, drinking our coffee, he will speak about himself coming with, the, with his glory and his angels. And he is going to judge every man, every human being, every everybody. But the, but but Muhammad, he's asking Aisha, where I will be tomorrow? Where I will be tomorrow? 
ابن ذا انثثار. I will tell you a story about the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad before I die. It's a very, very touching story and very romantic. Please sit down. And sister, if you are listening, close your ears because there is some sexual in, like stuff here. When the Prophet, brother and sister, actually brother only, forget about the sister, he was dying. He asked Aisha, Aisha, where I will be tomorrow? And the Prophet here is a questioning, very important question. What is tomorrow going to bring to him? He is in death. He dying. Actually, in the hadith it says expired in English. In Arabic it says he dying. And the Prophet is wondering, I wonder how, I wonder what I will be, be tomorrow. And all what I can see, a bunch of genie around me. I turn my head, I did not see Allah. I see the devil jumping in the top of me, Allah. <laughs> what is that? A prophet of God promising millions to go to heaven. He himself, he did not know where he will go tomorrow. A brother, you get a point, brother. The brother there had the point. And I'm going to explain the point for you. So, uh, uh, Dr. Zakir, what do you think the point of the prophet saying what I will be tomorrow? Christian Prince, actually, first of all, you are stupid. And no CB, it doesn't say that. The Prophet said what I will be tomorrow because he was preparing to go to Damascus. Because supposedly the Messiah will come there and he will come down in Damascus. Uh-huh, okay. Hmm. What do you think? This is a prophet of God. He himself is worried about where he will be. Guys, is this is a good time? Is it a good time? Honestly, I have a lot of work to do. But I said to myself, let me sit with those good people who they are way better than me. So maybe we have uh, some coffee together. I'm drinking coffee now. I'm way up since very early in the morning. Uh, but I will have some time with you. Uh, can you debate who? Do you dare to debate Mehdi Hassan at Al Azira? Al Zira, Zazira? I mean, it's a, it's a Jazira, not Zazira. My friend, I don't dare to debate any Muslims. I'm scared. I mean, come on, where I will be tomorrow? I mean, I open my Skype and I say, I keep saying, who, who's a Muslim? Any Muslim wanna call me? Any Muslim? Any mu? Any Muslim? And then do you dare to debate? No, I don't dare. I'm scared. I'm terrified because I'm worried where I will be tomorrow. Where I will be tomorrow? That's a good question. Muhammad he feel his sorrow, and he needs some action. God is coming to take his soul and he knew that he is was a spoil damage 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 soul will end in the hell in you all who follow him Muhammad the fool he is worried about tomorrow what about today Hello? What is that? What is that? The Prophet, he is not sure where he will be tomorrow. Hmm. Can you speak about the pillars of Islam? My friend, there is no pillar of Islam. As you see, the guy is worried about tomorrow. What pillars of Islam? He spent his life teaching Muslims how to shave their private part, how to shave in their arm. How clean, how to clean their anus and how to clean their, I mean, and now he is saying, where I will be tomorrow? Hmm? Who is a Muhammadan would like to tell us where Muhammad he think he will be tomorrow?
We can't play anyone videos. You see, I avoid playing Muslim videos because they flag my videos. If I play their videos, otherwise I would love to. So we can laugh together. But this is what they do. You see, if they play my video, I don't flag them because this is for my benefit. More Muslims will come and listen. But Muslims, because the cowardness they, they, and their fear they have, the second you play a video of them, they flag you for copyright. That's why I avoid playing them. Ali Muhammadan? Where I will be tomorrow? You will be in hell, Muhammad. Get ready for the barbecue. Hello. Hold on, hold on. Muhammad in the Quran, he said something which is interesting. Do you think Muhammad thinking and he is worried about what will happen to him? Anyone remember what Allah he said in the Quran? About people like Muhammad, supposedly? Because Muhammad is worried, obviously, you know. <sighs> In the Quran, it says that Allah will insert in the anus, in the judgment day, a long chain. He will make it go inside the nose and he will take it, he will ex extract the chain from the anus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The puppies of Mimi Hijab, they will say, no CP, it doesn't say that CP. This is your fabrication CP. No, this is not my fabrication. You are a liar and you are a potato. So I don't dare to call him. No CP. Is that what Muhammad is worried about? That Allah will insert inside his bum a long, long chain? This is why he's worried before he die? Let me show you the reference so people, must, so, I mean people, like Muhammadan, they will not say, because, you know, funny, I show them word by word in front of their eyes in the screen and they say, no CP, it doesn't say that CP. Okay. Hmm. So this is a chapter 69, even the chapter is 69. Man, what a sexual Quran. All right, chapter 69. Hmm. Verse number 32, and we will go to Ibn Kathir. I hope they will not say Ibn Kathir is a liar. Liar, CP, liar. No CP. All right. This is Ibn Kathir. I will put it for you in the screen. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I, I hope you can see the whole thing. Let me zoom out a little bit. Here it says, Then fast in him. Who is the one saying, No CP. It doesn't say that CP. Then fast in him on a chain, wherefore the length is 70 cubits. Kabul Ahbar said, Every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of the iron found in this world. Oof, 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 oof. Don't you think this is so small, brother? So the anus of a Prophet Muhammad is so small. And now Allah, this, now I understand why he is worried. He will insert it in the anus. Look. And it will be, then fast in him, it will be entered into his buttocks and pulled out of his mouth. Don't watch American movies. This is what happened to you when you watch too much American horror movies. This God, he enjoy sexual torture. He is targeting your bum, your anus. And that explains why the Prophet of Allah is worried. I mean, if you are not worried about your buttocks, you will worry about what? His brain? He don't have one. Aisha, where am I? Where tomorrow I will be? Actually, this is the same thing happened to him before. He said the same thing. He's repeating it. 
where I will be in here it says only where I will be tomorrow in different hadith says where I, where I am I where I will be tomorrow but that one is not in the that hadith is not uh, in the time of his death no no it doesn't matter you know Christian Prince is lying you show it from their books she doesn't show it doesn't matter he's lying and the Muslim for sure they will agree I mean brother yes a brother he's lying brother <laughs> brother Christian Prince is a liar big feet liar brother huh? so what we understand from this hadith that the Prophet of Allah is worried that Allah will do something to him and look brother it will be entered into his buttocks and pulled out of his mouth well, very nice then they will be arranged uh, on this chain just like a loctus arranged on the stick barbecue this is barbecue Allah will make barbecue and be roasted al wafi reported from Ibn Abbas no CP Ibn Abbas did not say that see had they said it will run into his behind uh oh until it's brought out of his two nostri nostrils so he will not be able to stand on his two I mean <laughs> a brother and sister Islam is the religion of common sense everything in Islam is a true story and Muhammad now is giving us a story that Allah is going to insert in the anus of every person who don't obey him and uh, he will make it come from his nostrils rather. Hmm. And Muhammad is wondering where I will be CP. No CP. Where I will be CP. And you know, if we go back, actually, if you see the description, I mean, this, this chain is so huge. It says here, there's this chain. If a drop of lead of this had pointed to the skull bone, were sent from the heaven to the earth, and the distance is 500 year travel, it would reach the earth before the night. If, 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 if that's before the night. I mean, don't you think this is funny? If it's coming from Allah, and Allah is at the end of the world, it should take maybe many years. I mean, what is this? Hundred of years. And then we go back to the story of the Prophet. Still, we are calling him Prophet. You know, we are showing respect. We have to respect the Prophet. You know, we have to admit he's a Prophet. At the end of the day, he have many prophecy. Actually, you know, I made a prophecy yesterday. It was rainy. You know yesterday and I said it's going to rain and you guys you believe it or not it rained yes it was raining before I said the prophecy and it continued raining but it, there's an option that the rain would stop after I say it's going to rain but no it did not stop so based on this I made a prophecy uh, I made other one and the other day and it came to be true which is amazing I said there is many women they will have their period how I know that how will you know that? This is astonishing. And not only that, I made a prophecy that in Alaska, they will have a snow in the winter. And guess what? They did have a snow in the winter. So the prophet, obviously, he's a prophet. To the point he do not know what he will be tomorrow. Can't you prophesy for us where you will be tomorrow? Hmm? How this man is a prophet, but he cannot he do not know where he will be tomorrow. I have a solution for you. Do you think Muslims Muhammad he lost his mind when he's dying? Hmm? What do you think? Did he lose his mind? Actually, there's a hadith where Umar al-Khattab, he said, قَدْ هَجَرَ الرَّسُولِ هَجَرَ which means he lost his mind. He's stupid, crazy. Don't listen to him.
How a prophet of God, he loses his mind. Where Allah? Any Muhammadan have anything to say? No CP. Yeah, but this is not about the... You see, first of all, the bewitch is a lie. There's nothing that's called bewitched. In the old days, anyone he uh, act, act crazy, they think he's bewitched, you know, because he look physically fine, but he act weird, you know, strange. So they say he was bewitched. But this is in the element of death. He's dying now. He's dying. This is, you know, this is way after the story of the bewitching. Hmm? What? Uh, any Muslim? Thank you, my friend. Thank you. God bless you. Any Muhammadan have anything to say? Guys, did you save this hadith? Because later we might look for it. And you see, actually, I was looking for different hadith. There's a hadith, I save it. And I could not find it. You know, but I came to this one. Yeah, obviously, he lost his mind. You know, this guy is mentally ill. And, uh, you know, there's one of two uh, options. Muslims, they have to admit. Either Muhammad, he did not lose his mind, and he is so worried about uh, being tomorrow, where he will be tomorrow. Or he is, uh, you know, like, either he crazy, became a crazy, or lost his mind, or he is really worried. Which one? Either one is a, is a horrible choice. Hmm? Where is the real manuscript of Surat Maryam? Muslim says that there is there there is a gospel of John, Mark, Luke is false. Hmm. You see, when the Muslim they say that the gospels of John and Mark they are false, that is against their stupid God. Why? Because if the Quran says that the one who sent the gospel is Allah, so the gospel is the book of Allah. So why Allah don't protect his book? Hmm? Isn't it Allah in tons of verses saying that Allah He sent the Torah and He sent the, sent the Gospel? And the Muslims say to you that the Gospel is corrupt. That means Allah is a fufu. Fufu, tutu, mumu, yahoo. The author of the book is the one who is in charge of protecting his book. No one else, because we are a human being. We die. We cannot stay forever. We don't know what will happen tomorrow after we die, like Muhammad, where I will be tomorrow. The one who sent the book should be a person who protect the book. So when a Muhammad and he says to you the gospel is corrupted, he is spanking his God, Lulu and Mimi. For he is confirming to us that he have a lousy God who cannot protect even a book. What is salvation according to Islam in the Quran? My, my friend, as you see, okay, as long as you are talking about salvation, don't you see Muhammad himself, he is saying, where I will be tomorrow? What salvation? What salvation? There's no salvation. This is the highest authority, the founder of Islam. He is saying, where I will be tomorrow? And this is in his element of death. The founder of the cult of Islam, he is not sure from his own salvation. So what salvation? You see, this is not uh, Abu Bakr or Omar or Mimi and Fifi. This is Mumu, Mumu himself. Hmm? Any Muhammadan have anything to say? And when they accuse your Bible of corruption, they are accusing themselves because according to them, the Bible is sent by Allah. And not only the Quran says 
that Allah, nobody can change his words. The Muslim, they say, no, 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 no CP. He meant the Quran CP. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, CP. The verse says, and nobody can change his words, any words. Chapter 18, verse number 27. Chapter 10, verse number 64. A chapter 6, verse number 34. Chapter 4, verse number 56. Nobody can change the word of Allah. I oh, sorry, sorry, it's 4, 4, 60, 56 doesn't say that. Nobody can change the word of Allah. And as long as the verses confirm that the word of Allah is the Torah and the Injil and the Quran and the Psalm, you know, so nobody can change the words of Allah. Here we go. The four, he didn't say the Quran. <clears throat> yes, it's true. This is what the Muslim Sunni do. When a Muslim Sunni die, they insert uh, a, a very hard piece of cottons inside his anus, and uh, because remember, you know, they believe that in the grave there is Allah will send a scorpion, and a snake have ninety nine head. Some hadith they say, or stories, that uh, a snake have seven heads, and every head have nine. Uh, yeah, snake have seven head, and every snake, every head have nine, nine head. I think it's like many heads. And they will do play with your, you know. Any Muhammadan? Any comment? Where is the Muhammadan today? Yeah, my friend, when the Muslim they say that the Quran, okay, when when the Quran says none can change his words, okay, isn't it the Bible is the word of Allah according to Muslims? Yes, and we showed you tons of verses. He did not nobody he did not say nobody can change his Quran. My mic is cutting off. I don't think so. This is maybe from your side. I think this is from your side. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Guys, is my microphone good? Do you hear me good? Is my microphone clear? My voice is gone? Hmm. I don't know. I, from my side, it shows that everything is good. Let me sing. Because if I sing, usually I fix stuff, you know. Like once we were taking an airplane from Tehran. And the Iranian Revolution Guards, they wanted to shoot out our plane. So I start singing. And right away the missile avoid our the, the, the target. Why? Because I was singing for Allah. Hmm? And I said to him, I wonder how, I wonder why. Muhammad worry when he said goodbye, where I will be. You think he's crazy? You think he's a fool? You think he knew that he is a scam? Hmm. Claiming to be from the Interpol? I ask Allah, what's wrong with Muhammad? Why he is not sure where he will be? And Allah never answer. Don't sing. Oh boy. Actually, I notice when I sing, I lose the numbers of uh, uh, people, uh, you know, uh, uh, watching. Uh, crazy stuff, brother. <clears throat> I 
Any Muslim want to say anything? So, if we have a cup of coffee with our Lord the Messiah, he is our king, the king of kings, and we ask him, the one who believe in you, where he will be? He will say, whoever believe in me and die will live. I am the life. I am the truth. I am the resurrection. I am who I am. If we ask Muhammad, Muhammad, you are dying now. Where you will be? Muhammad will answer. And as you see, this is in front of you. I'm not making things up. Muhammad will say back to me, I don't know where I will be, I don't know. Please tell me, please tell me where I will be, I don't know. And then I will call Jibreel. I will ask Jibreel, do you know, do you have any idea where Muhammad will be tomorrow? Jibreel will answer, I don't know, I don't know where the Prophet he will be. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, let us ask Allah. We ask Allah, do you know where Muhammad will be? Muhammad Allah will not answer because he is not exist. My voice is cutting. I think I'm losing connection. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting bad connection. So I better, I better finish fast before we lose our connection. Oh boy. Okay, it's getting back. It's coming back. Yeah, there is a bad connection in the internet. Hmm. We lost connection. Okay, guys, sorry, uh, uh, we, we lost connection for a little bit of time. Uh, well, what we can do, but I think now it is fine. See what happened when I sing? Disaster hit. I sing, things happened. Someone saying, why in the Quran it says the, Mas uh, 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 the Messiah, he is called Isa. Well, it asked Muhammad, how, I, I don't know, Muhammad, he, I think, I think, Muhammad, because you remember, Muhammad, he believed that the Messiah is the son of Mary, the sister of Aaron, correct? And I believe that this Mary or Maryam, she have a son, his name is Isa or Esau. This is the only way I can come with it. You see, I could not find any really any source, but the only way to come with it, that Muhammad, who he thought, as the Quran says, that Mary is the sister of Aaron, this is why Muhammad, he think that the name of the father of Mary is Amran, which means the same name of the father of Moses. So, mostly, Muhammad, he thought that the son of Maryam, the sister of Aaron, he is Isa or Isa and that is the Messiah this is the only explanation I can bring to you right Imam Mahdi this is a big fat lie it does not exist you know there is no such a thing it's called Al Imam Al Mahdi and even the Muslims, everyone here have tons of stories about Al Mahdi. As an example, the, the Mahdi, you know, the Mahdi is just another copy of the Christ. So look what they say that Al Mahdi, the Mahdi, uh, some they say that his mother, her name is Nargis. Some they say his mother, his name is Maryam. And he is not born from the private part of his mother. He, she gave birth to him from her thigh, which is normal to happen in the Middle East. 
I know many friends, their mother, she gave to them a birth from her, from her nose. You know? Is Maryam is a sister of Hera in the Quran? Ya Ukhta Harun, my friend. Ukhta Harun. <coughs> All right. So when Muhammad he say that the the, the Mary uh, in chapter nineteen verse twenty eight she is the sister of Aaron. I remember, remember. Uh, according to the Quran, Mary, she is the daughter of Imran. And Muhammad here is being stupid in many ways. Number one, the name is, is not correct because the, the father of Mary is not Imran. Secondly, he could not pronounce the name correctly of the father of Moses and Aaron because his name is Imran. So the last letter is M, not N. So the foolish Muhammad, he thought that Mary, she is the daughter of Umran, and Umran is the same father of Moses and Aaron. And by the way, if you go in the Old Testament, it confirmed that Moses and Aaron, they have a sister, her name is Maryam. Correct? Moses and Aaron, they have a sister, her name is Maryam. And this is exactly the name which is mentioned in the Quran as Maryam. <clears throat> right and this is where all the confusion of the false prophet came in from he sit with the Jews the Jews they say Moses have a sister have a brother the brother his name is Aaron the sister, her name is Maryam. And you can find that in the book of Exodus, chapter 2. Muhammad, he took it. What is the name, uh, 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 Jack Shalom? Habibi uh, Muhammad. The name of the father of Musa, Habibi Muhammad, his name is Umran. Umran. So Muhammad, he did not understand what the Jew is saying, so he said Umran. And now they have a chapter in the Quran it's called Al Imran, the family of Imran. Khabibi Muhammad, the expert Muhammad. Muhammad, he knew everything. He knew history. He knew who was in the cross, but he did not know where he will be tomorrow. Where I will be tomorrow. Call me, Muhammad. Call me. I will tell you where. Anyway, guys, I have things to do. And before I lose my internet again, it's a weekend time. And weekend, a lot of people use the internet. So before I start losing my internet, I want to say thank you very much for being here. Don't forget uh, to download the video and share it with everybody. And, uh, you know, if one of you uh, can make some graphic, what about you copy this hadith? Prophet of Allah said, where I will be tomorrow. And in like a chosen image fit with the story. Like, is Muhammad saved? Look what Muhammad said in his element of death. Where I will be tomorrow. Where I will be tomorrow. You will be in hell. You potato. And you will be fried and barbecued. Where you will be tomorrow? <clears throat> hmm? We know where you will be. So a foolish person is the one who follow a man. He himself is not sure where he will be tomorrow. Yet he claimed to be a prophet of God. It is uh, strange that the family of Maryam realized that Maryam commit adultery after she gave birth. No, the Quran doesn't say that. It doesn't say that the family of Maryam, the Jews, they came to her. But this is stupid. Why? Because you see, the Quran is a stupid book. 
the Bible make it clear Mary she was engaged to Joseph and legally that make her his wife engagement to Jews is a marriage but you don't you did not go yet she did not go to your house but you can have her she is legally yours it's just to prepare like for things to re get ready for the wedding etc but already legally religious uh, the, the, the religious marriage it happened but there is no sexual relationship this is why the Jews they could not question Mary but the stupid Muhammad he have no idea what he's talking about someone want to call is he a Muslim is he a Muslim the one who want to call <clears throat> A Muslim okay hold on <coughs> someone calling himself not a Christian prince suppose this is a Muslim guy okay let us see It's not online, maybe. <clears throat> and look, you know, look how much I'm giving them paranoia. They call themselves by my name. Call me, buddy, call me. Let me try one more time. He is the same as Allah, never answer. All right. Good. I will give you three minutes before we finish to call me, if not. Yeah, I don't see any Mohammedan calling. Any Mohammedan? I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see. Muhammad worry where he will be. Muhammad a fool. He don't know. He don't know where he will be. How can you believe it? He the guy he promised us virgins, long, long, long private part. I mean, the private part alone is a reason for all men to go. I mean, imagine you live in China, but you the part in the in the in in in, in, in the Mississippi River. And those like all no no, your private part in the Amazon River. Oh boy, and those fish who eat meat. The I mean they are all over. They will enjoy the sausages. Oh boy. He want to challenge me. He want to bring your Christian prince. So what, bring your Christian prince where? I mean, here, here we go. I'm here. What to bring your Christian prince? <laughs> bring your Christian prince. I'm here. <laughs> you see, when Abdul he says to you, bring your Christian prince. You tell him his life on air. Call him. What to bring him? All right. What the potato? Potato, 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 tomato, 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 la 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 la. What a crazy people! Bring your Christian prince, brother. I trend you. I trend Christian prince. You are invisible in Skype. No, I am not, my friend. How how people they are texting me and calling me then? 
if I am invisible. Uh, here we go, we lost connection again. <clears throat> all right we are losing connection suddenly you know there's something not right happening with the connection I apologize for that let me finish before we lose the connection totally look like the connection is getting bad it's a weekend and uh, well, you know look like we are going to lose connection it's happening again yeah it's happening always you know because here the it's like a uh, you have a line but I think what this company do they share the line with others is it possible that the Jews gave Muhammad a false stories and then Muhammad yeah exactly the same as the story of Alexander the Great etc yeah all right guys I think I will finish for today before we lose connection I think we lost connection again Yeah, I should I should do this earlier before people they start getting up all right <clears throat> please don't go don't go don't go how you cannot find me so how people they are texting me I have I have thousands of text messages and you cannot find me I'm not sure how this happened not sure anyway guys i want to say thank you very much for being here with me i have some work to do and ask every muslim I, how many of you save this hadith before we finish how many of you save it because this is a very important hadith when a muslim he speak to you about heaven and islam is the only true religion well the question would be very simple a prophet of god himself he do not know where he will be that is telling me the whole story he do not know where he will be this is about his death time and he died in the same day he was repeating the same thing so how this person can be a person who bring you salvation right okay guys i will check my skype later to see if what you are saying is true about about being invisible I will check that. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I want to say goodbye before I lose my internet again. Christ is Lord. I will try to come back at night, by the way. So get ready. Subscribe if you like what we do here. Download my videos. Share them. They are for free. I don't make videos for me. I'm sick of this cult. I have too much garbage, you know, all over. I'm sick of it, honestly. I wish, I, I wish one day I will wake up. I will not talk about it again. But somebody have to clean the garbage. And I cannot find somebody to replace me yet. But the day I find somebody can do a better job than Christian Prince, I will I will go. But until that day happen, I'm here. And I will get this prophet busted with no mercy. For he is the devil, not Allah. Allah is just a fake name. This man is the devil. He misleaded millions and millions of people. Yet he do not know what he will be tomorrow. You have to be mentally ill to follow a person he himself do not know in the time of death where he will be tomorrow. Why Allah do not give him confidence? Why Allah is not telling him where he will be tomorrow? Didn't Allah told him already where he will be tomorrow? Did he or did not? Yes, he did. So why he do not know? So join us later at night. Uh, we'll be here like maybe the same as last, last night, if you like it. And I hope, or maybe a little bit earlier. And uh, just to check the, uh, the page, my sky, I mean, my, uh, my YouTube, and you will find out when I will be again. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And with the Messiah, we live. With Muhammad, we will not know where we will be tomorrow. Hold on, we have, we have a Muslim, hold on. Oh, we have a Muslim.
We have a Muslim, you believe it? What is huh? Okay, hold on. We have a Muslim. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Hello? Hello? Mute mute YouTube, please. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, you are live on air, my friend. Who is, who is with me? Mute. Is your daddy ultimate proof? You cannot keep running? How are you, ultimate proof? How are you? We keep running from you. You are scary. So, ultimate proof, what do you think about your prophet saying where I will be tomorrow? <laughs> Your prophet saying, and I'm showing the story in this in the screen. He was dying, and he said to Aisha, "Where I will be tomorrow? Where do you think your prophet he will be tomorrow, and why he's asking this question?" First of all, um, this truth or not, nobody knows what they're gonna be. Allah said in the Quran mm -hmm. that the prophets will be worried about themselves. This is how Islam. The, the prophet is. will say what? 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 what you can what? do. Sorry, the, the, uh, uh, expecting. Let me ask you a question. No, no, no. I, I want to be sure what you are saying. The Quran says what? I did not hear you. My, my friend, we're not speaking at the same time. Please, don't me. Don't. You see, you see, you this, this is what you do. This, no, I did, I did not get you. I did not get you. You said the Quran said what? Repeat again. The Quran said what about the prophets? The Quran said hmm. that Allah said in the Quran that hmm. He have forgiven every sin of the prophet. Okay. In, in coming. Which verse? Which is verse is that? But at the same time. No, no. Which verse? Which, which verse is that? No, no. Tell me same time. Hold on. Which verse is that? Which verse? Which verse is that? And and hold on. No, 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 no. You see, you are saying in the Quran which. So do you, do you know or you do not know which verse is saying Allah He forgive every sin for the Prophet? Oh, you don't know the verse? I, I, I tell you, no problem. Tell me, okay, I'm waiting. Oh, that's it? Yeah. That's all you Yeah. No problem, brother. Hmm? I tell you every verse. Okay, I'm waiting. Are you searching no. Google? Yeah, I tell you, one second. You want a precise verse? You know the verse exists. <laughs> <laughs> you asking some dumb Okay, questions. are you searching Google? Okay. okay, give me the verse. That's right now. Hmm. Which one? Brother, give me 10 seconds. 10 seconds? Yep. Hmm. No problem, brother. Hmm. Uh, it's going to be hmm. 48.2. Well, I'm showing it in the screen since five minutes ago, and you saw it in my screen. This is how this, sure. this is gonna, this is how funny you are. Okay, so now okay, read the verse for me. It doesn't it doesn't say that Allah it, it doesn't say it doesn't say that Allah forgives. You see you see. You digressing. Let me answer your question. No, you are answering now. You are answering. We are having a conversation. The verse does not say that Allah He forgave to Muhammad his sin. Why are you are lying? Read the verse. You read it. Here we go. It's in front of me. It says that may Allah, may Allah forgive your sin. May Allah. He did not say I forgive your sin. Read it. He said, I have forgiven you your past and uncommon where, sins. Where it says that? Where it says that? Where it says, read, read it, read it. It says, may Allah, may, may Allah, may Allah forgive your sin. I okay. said, what translation are you reading? What translation you are reading yourself? asking you i don't know that is a translation of uh hilali and khan muhammad hilali and muhammad khan yes uh, read okay. any read any translation okay just what you read. it says it says that that allah that may allah that allah may forgive your sin okay now we go back so that doesn't say that but i, I will go with you let us say the verse saying allah forgives sin to muhammad so why muhammad asking what he will be why he is not sure? Yeah, because 
Jesus, another verse says, mm. uh, this is a, this is this is what belief is about. Mm. And no need to be in this world mm. and be for certain of where you going because you don't know what you did. Which verse is that? People don't know. Which is verse? Only which is, which Let verse? Let me answer your question. Which? I, I did 10 seconds, you, you're going to start cutting me off. Yeah. That's why Mohammed Hijab will be tearing your ass up because you don't have respect to people. You see? And then you be complaining. No, I, 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 don't, I, don't res see? I don't respect liars like you, first no, of all. First of all, when you, say, when you say a verse, when you say, when you, when you say, shut up, you coward. Listen, be, 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 behave, behave, behave. Listen, what is the verse? Where, where is the verse that says that Muhammad is not sure where he will be in the Quran? Yes, he said he he gonna be worried about his own neck. Where where say that? Where where in the what verse? Show me. I'm I'm learning from you. I Go ahead. You. Which okay. one? Okay, no problem. Okay. Uh, whatever you ask, bro, I I tell you. Okay, which one? I'm asking you. This why you you let me talk the two. I'm you're having a conversation. Uh, listen, okay. I'm not ready for every question. Give so, me ten seconds. I okay. give you the answer. Okay, what is the verse? Simple. I can ask one million. No problem. Stop wasting answer. time. Just give me no. the verse. What verse? I'm just telling you, I can ask you one million questions about the Bible, you will not answer right you, away. Okay, listen, listen, you. you are giving me an answer, I, I want details, my friend, you say that the Quran says that Muhammad, he will not oh, be, yes. he will not be sure where he is, but the Quran says those who did good, and those who believe, they will have heaven, they will have rivers, so why, if, if this is only, f even for Muslims, generally Muslims, so why Muhammad himself, he is not sure? Because Muhammad is a human being, he had a mission mm. to deliver a message. He did his mission. Mm. He's a human being. He sinned mm. like people. Mm. He has forgiven and no substitute. Okay. Inshallah, Rabbi, every right. Allah, right. messenger of Allah, right. Inshallah, right. okay. Inshallah, with the will of Allah, mm. will be going to mm. heaven. Okay. We're expecting that. So you are saying, but okay, so, so you are saying the Quran, humble, you are saying the Quran. Listen, listen. Being humble, Okay, be, Mr. Being humble, Mr. Being humble, Mr. Being humble, the Quran a promise. Let me let me talk. Let me talk. Let me speak. What does this have to do with being humble? What does this have to do with being humble? When 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 hijab treat you as a bastard. You have the, to say, the, the, the bastard, the bastard is your prophet. He was born four years after his father' death, and I can prove it right now as we speak. So be, behave yourself, behave yourself, behave yourself, son of Muta. I did not mention your mother. Respect my mother, otherwise I will insult your mother. You are a son of Muta. That's no, why you are no, not. I mentioned your mother. You, you, you did. You, 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 you right call me. You call. Off. You just called you, me. You, you call. You just called me bastard. And the fact you are the bastard because according to your you, prophet, according to your prophet, you your father. That that Mary slept with this? No, I never said that. You are a liar. This is editing your videos. You are a bunch of cowards and you are liars. Okay. You are liars. Okay, you want to hear? <laughs> Shut up, you filthy coward! You are a filthy coward. This is this is editing. You, you must be filthy coward people. You have no dignity. Editing? Do you need the proof? Yes, we well, never proof. We we'll give you proof because the, I know what the proof. I, this is video editing. I say that from one step with someone, you edit the video, you put it together. Filthy or filthy like your prophet. Don't change the topic now. You want the proof? Not. We know the proof. We knew. We knew that you are a liar. We knew. But Christians, they are here with me always, and they never heard me saying that. They knew that you are a liar, like your prophet. Filthy coward, son of Muta. Did you see the man Jesus is the his mother? Filthy, disgusting. Look, guys, the Quran says. <clears throat> you see, he changed the topic. Filthy cowards. And give a glad tiding to those who believe and do righteous righteousness good deeds for them will be guarding what Muhammad being humble the Quran promise already normal Muslims you will go to heaven those are normal Muslims anyone who believe and do righteous and good deed he will be in heaven he will have God in a river so why the prophet you do not know? And this filthy, he says, we are running away from you. You are filthy. You start calling me names. Shame on you. I did not insult your mother.
very filthy people they do editing to my videos everybody knows who i stand for we fight 24 hours to get you busted just because you say jesus is not a prophet so how christian prince will say what you said you filthy coward i can show you right now that according to your quran jibril he made mary horny filthy cowards this is how disgusting you are this is why i call you the ultimate fort and this mimi hijab he start insulting so he will not answer i did not call mimi hijab a bastard but obviously he is you know yeah he's calling again <laughs> Are you going to behave or you will call names? Yeah, hello, Christian Prince. Yes, go ahead. Hello. Are you okay, boy? Sorry? Go ahead. Hello? There we go. Coward, they do anything to my videos. Did you say that? Filthy, disgusting. They could not debate me. They tried to frame me. They say, Christian Prince, he said that about Jesus. You filthy, disgusting. You filthy cowards. Shame on you. Shame on you, filthy people. You would have no dignity to fabricate audio. I can make now. From your conversation, I can make you saying things you never said. I just cut words, put them together. The boy is your prophet. Because if he's not, at the age of 56, he will not be thinking about a girl she is six years old. Ultimate fart. And as you see the Quran, did not say Allah he forgive the sin of Muhammad. It says may Allah forgive your sin. It's a wish. And this is a proof that the Quran is a false book. Because if Allah is talking why he say may Allah forgive your sin. Hmm? Allah saying to who may Allah forgive your sin. To himself. Allah is wishing Allah to forgive sin. And Muhammad here is being a humble man. What humble man? The guy is dying. This is in his death, you idiot. Where I will be tomorrow? <laughs> this is about being humble. This is about he's not sure. He should be saying to his wife, don't worry about me. I will be with Allah. What he was saying is the opposite. Cowards. There's one thing all the Muhammadan they share. They cannot refute you. They try to put you down as a person. They make it personal. So they do editing for videos. They make you see from from the video I made today. You can make many stories as you wish. I said the word sex, I said the word penis, I said the word... You can put them together, you make a story I never said. Cowards. Every Christian knows what a Christian prince he stands for. And every Christian believes that Jesus is the Virgin Mary. And every Christian believes that Mary is above all mankind. So how dare you to say what you are saying, you filthy coward. And right now, if there is a Muslim want to call me, I can show you where it says in your interpretation that Allah, he sent Jibreel, and Jibreel, he made, he breathed into her private part, and he made her horny, so the sperm of the man which Allah created inside her made it move and made Jesus. And now they will talk my, take my voice, and they will play with the recording, and they will say, see, he's saying something about Mary. Filthy cowards. And by the way, 
this is not only increase the support for a Christian prince because the, 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 the Christians, even those who maybe who don't care, they will see that Muslims are a fraud. Not only they are not truthful, but they are a fraud because when you fabricate audio, you are a fraud. You cannot answer me. You cannot debate me. So now what do you do? We fabricate audio. Cowards. Now, if there is any Muslim want to tell us why Muhammad, you see, I was going to go, but look like our internet is fine now. Any Muslim want to tell us why Muhammad is worrying in his death where he will be? And look at the stupid answer. He is humble. What? What humble? What does it have to do with being humble? So if you say I will be in heaven, you are not you are not humble. <laughs> if a person he read the Quran and the Quran says those who do righteousness and those who believe and those who follow the prophet etc they will go to heaven. If you say based on this I will go to heaven, that make you not humble. You know, my friend, he is not making point. He is breaking the fake. He is going to play the fake audio. He is not answering. He is not talking. He will start playing uh, uh, the fake audio. And don't tell me, please, what to do. If you don't like the way I do it, you can leave. I'm dealing with those people for years and years. All of them, they are the same quality. Rarely, you will find a person who is gentle, respect himself, and speak politely. And if they are not a fraud, you tell me why they fabricate audios. If they are following the good God, why somebody following the good God will say such a thing? Right? Your face in Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab, he does not know me. He put pictures of people who... And who told you I'm hiding, you idiot? I go and do seminars. It is you, Muhammad, is hiding. And you know what your Allah is? You see, Muhammad Hijab, his last name is Burqa. And in the Middle East, they will not call you last name Burqa unless you are a coward. And by the way, even Allah himself, according to Islam, he wear hijab. If you are asking me why I don't show myself... You just say that they have a picture of me, so how I am hiding myself? <laughs> you stupid idiot. Post pictures of people. Look what the Quran said. Allah, he never speak unless he is from behind the hijab. So why you don't say Allah is coward? Here we go. It's not given to any human being. Allah should speak to him unless it be inspiration or from behind behind a veil do you see it do you see it is your god allah is a coward any muhammadan would like to call the prophet is humble and allah he said he forgave the prophet's sin. Where is that? And you know what? If he forgave his sin, why? He do not know where to go. And yeah, this is the guy who believed that Rashad Khalifa had the correct Quran. Rashad Khalifa, he cut the Quran pieces. He said there's a corruption in the Quran and he deleted verses. If there is any Muslim would like to call? Filthy, trashy. You know, look what they did with the apostate prophet. Do you, do you, did you see the videos they made for him? The same story. They start to, you know, they try to humiliate him, make it personal. They could not answer him. So they start saying he is having sex with his sister. He liked to have sex with his mother. I mean, very filthy, trashy people. Garbage. Can you believe it? The guy he don't be, you know he don't believe in Islam. Why you go to that level? Because simply this is their level. This is how trashy they are. Let me show you the post of uh, Mimi Hijab. Hold on. 
I think I still have it maybe. I post it in Facebook. Uh, maybe this one no this one hold on I have it in Facebook actually Mimi Hijab speaking awful words about the apostate prophet claiming that he is right now as we speak maybe he's luring his sister you believe it how trashy how garbage they are and all of this because the guy he left Islam. We know. Not because he's a bad or you, you don't even know him. The guy left Islam. So what we will do, we start fabricating lies about him. Give me a second. Let me find it. I have it in uh, Facebook. Just to show you how trashy they can go, how low. They are the same as their prophet, the same as their God. Nothing different. From their fruits, you shall know them. <clears throat> I'm going to go to my Facebook page and grab the images. And by the way, the video I made for Mimi Hijab about him uh, cutting my videos, audio, uh, reported by Mimi Hijab as hate speech. And Facebook, they send me, uh, like, we, we are going to delete your video. Uh, do, you, uh, do you have any response, whatever? So I respond, this is no hate. Re watch the video, please, etc. And uh, Mimi Hijab got busted and the video is back. This is how coward they are. I don't flag, I don't even flag them speaking against me because that will bring me more people here. Make as many videos as you can. More Muslims will hear about me and they will come and they will see the truth. Let us see. <clears throat> uh, Skype is very slow. I mean, uh, Facebook. The page is taking forever to load. Yeah, uh, and anyway. Is a person, if a person, he don't believe in Islam and he left Islam. What a, why you are going to speak about his mother, about his sister? I mean, what kind of a human being you are? And supposedly, they are trying to teach us about ethic. Here we go. I found it. I found the first one. There's two of them. Let us see. Here we go. Let me put it in the screen. So everybody will see what is the level of this this this, this kind of people. Um, all right. Here we go. We found the first one. This is why, actually, they don't even deserve I talk to them. But I agreed to speak to them just to get them busted, and we did. The coward, he did not let me talk. This guy, I'm just having a conversation with him. I did not mute him. Look at this filthy Mimi Hijab. And you tell me what kind of a human being he is. Muhammad Hijab. Why would this incest endorsing Islamophobe who may be attempting attempt, attempting to sexual lure his sister as we speak can you believe it and I assure you this guy will not speak in such a language unless he himself is doing that to his sister Because I cannot imagine somebody saying that to somebody. Unless he is a person who think about that. And the coward, by the way, he deleted this tweet. 
but it was too late. People copy it and post it around. But this is telling you the level and the standard of those people. They are street boys. Trashy, garbage in, garbage out. There is other one. I don't know where I, I can find it. Uh, I will try to find it where he said something else too. Not only this. I mean, he had this guy, he said... But it's good to copy their their uh, their garbage so later they can get busted. Let us see. I think this one here. Okay. Uh, no, this is a different one. Anyway. The second you start attacking this cult, they will launch a war against you as a person. And they think they can intimidate you, and they think they can harass you, and they think, you know, you have no idea who I am. I'm doing this forever. I got death threat. I got uh, people want to kill me. I got people want to pay me so I can stop uh, exposing Islam. All of this will not work. The only thing will work is that you bring me more people. Imagine how many people now in the channels of those Muhammadan they will hear about Christian Prince and they want to know what this guy is saying. And they will come to me and they will ask me, did you say that? I will say, this, those are liars. You know, this is what I do all day long, defending the truth. Christ is my Lord. Every Christian, he knew that. I will never say that. They are a bunch of liars. They have no dignity. They have no honor. The same as their prophet. And by the way, according to Islam, you can have your sex with your sister in heaven. Actually, hold on. As long as we are mentioning this topic, I hope I will not lose my internet. Give me a second. I will try to find a video about this topic. Uh, <clears throat> Let us see. Here we go. I think this is the video, maybe. Let us see. <clears throat> uh, no, not this one. Maybe, hold on. Let's see. Maybe like... Uh, a, we need to hear a little bit so we can see. <clears throat> I will try to find where exactly those Muhammad and they call. Uh, maybe here. For some reason, this video has no sound. I wish Muhammad at that time he had a camera so we can watch him live. I would be the no, not this one. Hold on. <clears throat> the description of paradise 18 plus 18. Yeah, well, this one I see it, but it doesn't say that it doesn't have that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe in the video, in the long video, let us see in the long run. Uh, here we go. Hold on. I think I found it. But where is that? In which point of the video? I think here. Let us see. No. I am very good. So what do you think about the Quran speaking that you can have sex with your daughter in the interpretation if she is daughter from adultery? <coughs> where is the, the head? You are the person who speaks Arabic. You are perfect. It's in the front of you. This is the chapter of 25, verse number 54. And this is Tafsir al-Qurtubi, as you see in the screen. Jami'u al-Ahkam al-Ahkam al-Qur'an al-Qurtubi. 
And read with me. Here we go. Read it. Now this guy is a Moroccan. He speak Arabic. And he's calling to defend Islam. And those liars, they say, Chris CP is lying, CP. is lying. Islam is the religion teaching that you can have sex with your daughter if she's the daughter from adultery, not from marriage. You speak Arabic, you are Moroccan. You are Moroccan. Okay. <coughs> he's reading now. The astonishing teaching of Allah. <clears throat> what he will say? You have nothing to say. Silence. All to read this is just four lines. But this is not a hadith. This is just a... interpretation. Interpretation. Okay, it says you can have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from adultery. Why? Why you must believe in that? Mute. You have nothing to say. Cowards. Look. Read, brother. Read. Read in Arabic. Read. Let us hear your your Arabic reading. I want to. I, I now, if you go to Mimi Hijabi, will say, "Liar! It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that." Like I like Moroccan when they read Arabic. Go ahead. Praise be to Allah. We have an amazing book teaching us that if I have a daughter, she is not my the daughter of my wife, but she is my daughter. I can have sex with her too. That's amazing, brother. This is his interpretation. It's true, but this is the interpretation. This is your scholar, Al Qurtubi, and, and this is not me. This is not a Christian scholar. You, why Al Qurtubi saying that, my friend? Why Al Qurtubi saying that? Why Al Qurtubi saying that? Let me see him. Okay. Is he is not a prophet? He can be. He can do any mistake. Hmm. He's not a prophet. Yes. But the Quran says, okay. Let me ask you. According to the scholars of Islam, is your daughter from adultery yes. is considered as your daughter? I don't know about this. Uh, I don't tell me you do not know. Suddenly he do not know. The guy is calling me liar. The, the guy he is calling me to refute me. The guy he know his religion. Suddenly he do not know. We have a Muslim here. Uh, he's a Muslim. Hmm. He claimed to be a Muslim. <clears throat> I will continue playing the video after we see this caller here. <clears throat> Hello? Yes. Salam. Salam, you are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. You are a Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I heard you claim in one of your videos saying that Muhammad was not a merciful man. And I want to show you a hadith. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead, my friend. Okay. I will send you the hadith. No, just read it for me. I know all the hadith. Um, and I said 80 Meccans came from the mountain of um, Al Tanim against the Prophet mm. and his companions at the time of the dawn prayer to mm. kill them. Mm. And the uh, um, apostle of Allah took them cap uh, captive without fighting them and set them free. Wow, that's amazing. That mm. 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 Okay. So, what is your response? Okay, I will answer you. So, you, uh, which book you are reading from, my friend? Okay, so you agree with those books, right? You approve them. Yeah, but we're talking about this topic right now. I know, but you are you approving you are approving those books, so you will not say I don't believe in those books. Okay. Habibi, we're, we're talking about this topic. <laughs> uh, you're talking about what? We're talking about this topic right now. Yes, we are talking about the same topic. Here we go. I have a hadith in front of me. It says that your prophet, he killed all the children who they have little hair around their pubic area. He slaughtered all the men and even the children if they have little hair around their private part. And the hadith is in front of you. And the guy who is reporting this saying, and this is why I was not killed. Little children. Wait, let me... Uh, 
Alright, let me read it. Um, I was from the Pakistan place. Where does it say the Prophet likes them? Uh, they did. He's saying the way. This is why I was not killed. He killed everybody. Don't you see it, my friend? Yeah, but Muhammad didn't kill them. What do you mean? It doesn't say Muhammad killed them. Okay, so who is the one who was killing them? Oh wait, this is talking about the uh, Bani Kureza. Yeah, Bani Kureza. So they are a human, right? They, Bani Kureza are a human. They are not monkeys. Are they human? Yeah, but they uh, broke the peace treaty. No problem. So why you are killing their kids? But Muhammad did not command this. Uh, some other guy did, and Muhammad said to him, "You have uh, ordered uh, like the co commandment that uh, like Allah would do." Hmm. And what the commandment of Allah to do? It says in the front of you that the Muslims they slaughter everybody from those kids if they have little hair around their pubic. In Middle Eastern, okay. they have hair since very early age. Okay, and do you have a, a, a problem with that? You you are calling me to show me that the Prophet is merciful. Where is the mercy to kill those children? What they did to him, Muhammad? Okay, so I'm asking you, is there a problem with killing uh, women and children? No, I'm 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 asking I'm answering you. You said to me that the prophet he released. I'm answering you. Your prophet he released the captive. Let me ask you: Did Muhammad release the captives who they are children, or he killed them? My friend, I'm asking you about the hadith. Well, I'm, I'm you are the one who called me. Don't change the topic. You are the one who called me. You wanted to show me that your prophet <laughs> is merciful, right? No, but I'm asking you about the hadith. Do you have a response to it? That's well, all I'm asking. But the, re the response is very simple. What you said is not true because you are saying he's merciful. That's not true because the merciful will not do that. Let me ask you then: Did Muhammad he rape a woman before even she arrived to her house to his house? In the way he just killed her parents, he killed her father, he killed her husband, and he raped her. And her name is Safiya. Yes or no? Uh, Safiya gave her body willingly to the Prophet, not by compulsion. Who is the one giving her the? What do you mean? She gave herself willingly to the Prophet. Can you show me the reference? Yes. Can you show me the reference? He raped her and uh, by compulsion. Okay, I will show you. But you are the one who mentioned to me first that he she gave herself to the Prophet. I want to see. Are you making things up or you have reference? That's what I'm showing me. My friend, are you making things up or you are giving me or you are going to give me a reference? I'm, 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 I'm giving you the true uh, interpretation because you are okay. using your own interpretation. Can you, can you give me the reference? Okay. Rape them. Show me. What? Show me the reference where he raped them. Well, you are the one who said, I will show you my reference, but you start because you are the one who said to me that he, okay. he, she took, she gave herself to him. Okay, what if I show you in the Bible, Moses killing all the women and children and men? And, uh, you can show me, no problem, the, no problem, okay. you know, the, okay, the, 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 the Jews believe eye for an eye and those, they are, they attacking them, you know, they, they are killing, they okay. took them, they raped them, they slaved them, and the Jews, they are fighting back. So now, don't change the topic, did Muhammad rape Sophia, yes or not? Did Muhammad rape Sophia, did Muhammad rape Sophia, yes or not? Don't change the topic. Did Muhammad, did Muhammad rape Sophia, yes or not? Moses kept all the virgin women alive and he said to them, uh, keep them for yourselves. Okay, now, read the verses for me. It says, keep them. For, if you want to marry one of them, you cannot sell her. Right. You cannot right. sell her. And she have to share. Ha she, she, uh, hold on. She have to sh shave her hair for a period. So she, he will not get close to her until she is healed from what happened. She is a prisoner of war. This is what the Bible says. And I challenge you to read the verses you are quoting for me. Look, we have no problem to read our verses. And I challenge you right now in front of everybody to read the holy chapter. And we will laugh at what you said. Because there it says that if you want to marry her and you cannot sell her, you cannot sell her. You take her as a wife. You take her as a wife. And if you don't want her no more, you let her go free. Does it say that or I'm lying? My friend, if you 
rape a woman in the Christ in uh, the Bible, then you have to marry her forever and pay fifty so for the That's promise. a big fat lie. That's a big fat lie. Don't change the topic. There, there. If you lay down with the women, not rape a woman. If you lay down with the women, which means she agree because the women she don't agree, she right. will scream. The the Bible say that clearly. Secondly, right. you're a prophet. He said the same, and you keep jumping like a monkey from a place to a place. Let us go one by one. I will stay with you until tomorrow, my friend. <laughs> one by one, one one by one. Does it say in the, you're, you're quoting for me from the book of Moses? Does it say that if you have a slave, you cannot sell her again? She have to shave her hair, and you, if you don't want her no more, you let her go free. Does it say that? My friend, according to your Bible, the father have to sell her daughter. You see, no, this is the, no. It's you who sell his daughter. You see, this is you see the the, the most times when they okay. <laughs> The Muslims they say things. The Muslims they say things which they are incapable of even knowing. That he caught and he keep jumping. Look, he topic from topic to topic. Okay, you want to talk about? You want to talk about saying women? Do you want to talk about saying women? Do you want to talk about women sold by the father? Yeah, say yes. Say yes. What? What topic you want to talk about? Why you keep jumping like a monkey from a place to a place? What? What? What the topic you wanna? What the topic you want to talk about? You kept doing that. I'm not the one. You see, you called me. You called me to speak about your prophet, the prophet of mercy, and suddenly you jump about Moses, and then suddenly you jump about etc. So you keep it changed. So tell me, please, what topic you want to talk about? Okay, let's talk about satanic verses. Satanic verses, no problem. Here we go. Go ahead. I want to uh, ask you what the problem is with Muhammad. Uh, receiving the satanic verses and Allah abolishing what uh, he threw in. Okay, so you agree that Muhammad he received satanic verses? Uh, many of the majority of the scholars and uh, tafsir say that this story of al Ranik is a fabrication. But so you I just said, but you just said, everybody heard you. What is your problem with the yeah. Prophet receiving satanic verses? Yeah, I do it because uh, Ibn Ishaq and uh, two other uh, early books say that he received satanic verses. All right. So, I, so uh, uh, can you tell me the story how Allah abolished those uh, verses? How Muhammad he said those verses and how Allah abolished them? What do you mean? You, will he receive verses? What the verses? About uh, Yeah, what he said about them. Basically, um, he um, he was like uh, praising the uh, gods of the pagans, and uh, later on he said, "No, no, the the pagans were happy with it." And later on he said, "No, no, this uh, uh, is from Satan and, uh, and not from God." Hmm. Okay. And I want. Okay. So you agree with that? Yeah, because it's in in, in uh, even a shop. But Wonderful. The majority of the scholars and tafsir say it's a fabrication. Wonderful, my friend. We just heard all of you. What's your name, uh, your, uh, uh, if you might say, so I can call you? Mahdi. So your name is what? Mahdi. Mahdi. Okay, Mr. Mahdi. You are welcome. I'm, I'm glad that you called me. You sound like a nice gentleman guy. Let us not to change the topic, please, one by one. You said you agree with the topic. You agree that the Prophet he received satanic verses. But it doesn't say in the Quran that Allah, he said, can you make Quran like this? Can you make Quran like this, right? Does, this, does the Quran say that? I'm asking you what the problem is with Muhammad receiving satanic verses. I'm telling you the problem if the Quran saying nobody can make Quran like Allah Quran. And Muhammad, he received Quran from the devil. And he did not recognize that this is not Quran from the devil. That's me. Anyone can make Quran, including shaitan. Yeah, because it was like uh, three verses. It's like many... Uh, one verse that uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter Muhammad Muhammad he thought it's a Quran and Muhammad he recited as a Quran and the Quran says nobody yeah. can make Quran like the Quran yeah. so how the yeah. Prophet of Allah how the Prophet of Allah could not recognize that this is not Quran yeah because uh, Jibreel Muhammad thought that um, uh, he was receiving from Jibreel but uh, uh, shaitan like he was uh, tricking him into uh, receiving this uh, verses that's wonderful guys uh, shaitan he tricked muhammad and he made him receive those verses how he tricked them i have no idea i, I don't know i wasn't there it's not mentioned in the is it true that there's a sh the, the shaitan he come to him in the image of jibreel um i 
would like you to show me the source from uh, Ibn Ashraf or any uh, early book. Okay, but you never heard of this story before? Yeah, yeah I did. But, uh, maybe it's true, but I just want to hear uh, your problem with the satanic verses. Since Allah okay, Allah okay no problem. Listen, as long you are the one who agreed that Muhammad here received satanic verses, and you heard of the story that Jibreel or Shaitan, he came in the image of Jibreel, right? Mm. How and what is our guarantee that not all the uh, Quran is from a guy who came in the image of Jibreel and he's Shaitan? What is our guarantee that the verse is saying that Allah will yes. abolish the Quran, which is from Shaitan, is not from Shaitan himself? Because um, the Quran message of Quran is to worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one God. Not okay, hold. Things. Okay, no problem. But you know, if you worship wrong worship, still you are not following the true God. As an example, you're a prophet. He he kissed black stones. You Muslims, you claim that you are not pagans. <laughs> what is it? Is that from Satan or from Allah kissing the black stone? No, he's doing that because uh, it's holy. It's from paradise. It's holy. Where did Allah say to Muhammad, "It's holy"? Kiss it. No. Okay, why he kissed it then? Because it's holy. Why it's holy? Because it's from paradise. Where it says that? It doesn't say that. Where it says that he it is holy stone and it is coming from paradise where so we shall kiss it. Where it says that? That Allah says that to him? No. So who said that to him? No, because uh, in, in reality it's holy because it's from paradise. Okay. That's the reason it's kissing. So if a stone is coming from paradise, that make it holy. Yes. Okay, so when you go to heaven, you are going to kiss everything in the ground? No, no, that's different. That's when we are in heaven, but uh, we are talking about the earthly life. What do you mean? We are, we are now uh, in the earthly life. We are not in heaven, so that's different. What? So what? If it's a stone from heaven, I mean, it's a stone, and kissing a stone will make you a pagan person. Let me ask you, did this stone have a duty or it's useless? What? What do you mean? The stone, you see, we are talking about Muhammad receiving satanic verses, and obviously Muhammad he received a lot of satanic verses. One of them is the kissing uh, black stone. So this wow. stone is it useless or useful? If you touch it, then Allah on the day of judgment will uh, forgive your sins. Okay, guys, if you touch the stone, Allah will forgive your sin. All right, the hadith says. If you touch the stone in the Yemeni corner, Allah, he erase your sin. How and why Allah will erase your sin for touching a stone? Because that's how Allah is making his creation. If he wants to do that, then he is going to do that. It's his decision. What, 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 what? It's a, it's a stone. You see? I mean, okay. how easy it is just touching a stone will make me lose my sin? Yes. Okay. You know, why? 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 Uh, what is the logic in that? What? Okay. Okay. Why? Why? If? Why? If you touch? Explain to me why if you touch the stone is going to erase your sin. What will happen exactly? Then uh, on the day of judgment, the stone will uh, uh, Allah will make the stone uh, rise, and the stone will say to Allah, "This and this uh, person as such a person touched me," hmm. and then Allah will uh, forgive him and allow him to enter paradise. That's wonderful. So the stone now became a mediator between the man and God. Is that correct? Sorry? The, stain, the stone is going to uh, intercede for you. Yes. Okay, but isn't it the Quran says in that day there is no intercession? By his permission. Except by his permission. And the permission given to the stone? What are you talking about? He gives permission to the stone. He gives permission to Muhammad. Okay, so the stone is the stone is a person because you are saying now the stone is going to speak and the stone is going to have a tongue and the stone is going to have eyes. Is the stone yeah. is a person? According to the Quran, our, our hands and feet will also speak. By the and the is I, don't change the topic. topic. Is feet. the stone because you said the stone is going to have tongue and is going to have uh, uh, eyes? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Same for our Allah says in the Quran that our hands and feet will uh, on the day of judgment will, will okay. speak. Okay, maybe will, maybe this is will. metaphorical, but the stone literally is going to stone to speak. No, correct? It is not. It is not okay, metaphorical. not metaphorically. No problem. Okay, no problem. Not metaphorically. So the stone is going to witness for you in the day of judgment. W witness to whom about what? Isn't Allah knowing all everything? 
Oh, my, my friend, that is very stupid of you to say. I can, like, raise 1,000 questions for you if you... No, we are that, talking about that, making that, satanic verses. What is my guarantee that this stone story is not from shaitan? Let me show you something. Did, did Omar al-Khattab, he say that you are a useless stone, there's no harm and there's no benefit from you? Did he say that? You said that if Prophet would have not, would not kissed it, I would have not kissed Thank it. you very much. But he said, he said, you are useless harmless stone yes or not it is not uh, useless he said that he said you are you no doubt that you are a stone can neither benefit anyone nor harm anyone did he say that or not uh that is very uh, that is not true it does benefit because allah will forgive you so you are saying Umar khattab he did lie no Okay, if he know, well, he said the height in front of me, and you speak Arabic. Yeah, but that's uh, that's Omar ibn Khattab. That's not uh, uh, that's not the prophet. Okay, but if Omar ibn Khattab saying something not true, it's a lie then. No. What do you mean no? Either you agree with him, or you don't agree. No, Did he tell the truth when he said that? Did he tell the truth when he said that this stone is useless? Yeah, he, he, he said that, but the Prophet ﷺ did not say that. Okay, so the Prophet contradict the Prophet teaching, contradict the teaching of Omar al-Khattab, correct? The Prophet's teaching uh, contradict the uh, uh, statement and assumption of Omar ibn Khattab, yes. Okay, so Omar here was lying. No. What he was doing? He made, he made, his, uh, he made his own uh, assumption. Okay. How a person who is living in the time of the Prophet all this time, he thought that the stone is useless, and now he is practicing kissing a stone. Yet he knew it's useless. Why? How come uh, nobody? How come none of the Muslims says to him, "Don't say that. It's it's useful." Because uh, the stone, it's literally a stone. It doesn't. Like it will benefit us, but Omar ibn Khaba wasn't talking about this benefit on the forgiving sins on the day of judgment. Mm. He was talking about the uh, benefit of uh, that the stone is like a stone, it, it doesn't do anything to okay. Anything. Hold on, he is saying, unless the pro because the prophet he kissed you, I'm kissing you. He is saying you why he is saying it's useless, kissing you is useless. So, this is about now and later kissing you is useless but you said the one who touched the black stone is going to witness for him in the day of judgment Omar al-Khattab is getting your prophet busted saying it's not true it's a lie it's just a stone no, no he's, he's making his own assumption assumption so he is making false assumption correct his uh, assumption is not true no yeah, it's a false assumption. So let me, let, me, let me go. So if we go in the Quran, it says that Allah is going to delete what shaitan he put in your mouth. What Allah will delete exactly? Everything uh, shaitan through verses. In what he's, what oh. everything? How we will know what he will delete? What? How we will know that this verse itself is not from shaitan? Because Allah will delete everything. Okay, but how we know, how we don't, if Muhammad here is receiving already satanic verses, yes. that means it's okay, possible, so it's possible Allah is not really protecting Muhammad, do you agree? Because if Allah protected okay. Muhammad, then how he receives satanic verses? Uh, because uh, um, in the verse 52, it says uh, the manna, which means desire and not recite. Mm. That's uh, one thing. And uh, another thing is... Uh, when we look at the message and the teachings of Quran, like uh, Allah says, do not oppress the orphans, uh, teach them good, mm. uh, be good to your parents. None of this can actually come from shaitan. When shaitan uh, reveals verses, he obviously is going to make disturbing uh, teaching. Mm. Uh, disturbing teachings with uh, false messages like uh -huh. worship the pagans. Okay, the, the so you are saying to me, Jacob. you are saying to me, if we find disturbing teaching in the Quran, that will make it satanic, correct? My friend, I'm asking you if we find uh, a lot of good teachings in the Quran. Well, Shaitan, he will deceive you. Satan, he will deceive you. As an example, Satan, he might come to you and say, I am, uh, like now, uh, let us say, if I asked you, is the Ahmadiyya as Muslims? 
Oh, of course not. Okay, so, the but the Ahmadiyya, they speak, the, the founder of the Ahmadiyya, he's claimed that he is the Messiah. He claimed that we should do good, we should do righteousness. How we go? So your logic is a, is, a, is not a true logic because here we go, this guy, he never said go and kill. Actually, actually, he's better than Muhammad. He never says go and rape and kill. He says do righteousness, go give donation, etc. This is the teaching of Ahmadiyya. So if we compare between the Ahmadiyya teaching and Muhammad teaching, Ahmadiyya will win. Yet you claim that the Quran is the book of God because there is righteous teaching. Let me ask you, according to the Quran and the interpretation of the Quran, can you have sex with your daughter out of marriage? Doesn't the Quran forbid, uh, make a long verse saying, forbidden unto you are your fathers, sisters, and etc., etc.? Right. Uh, making uh, incest forbidden? Correct. But the Quran too it says, "Wajalna hu nasabun wasihra," and this is the interpretation. Actually, we we put before you call. I don't care about interpretation. I care. I care about the facts of the Quran and Hadith. You don't care for the interpretation. That is very good. So, if we ask you who is going to give interpretation, you say me, you. Sorry. Who is the one who will give us the interpretation, the correct interpretation for this verse? You said, I don't care for interpretation. As long as long it, is, uh, it doesn't contradict Quran and Hadith, then it, it is okay. Okay, my, my, my friend, it doesn't contradict the Quran because it says you can have sex with your daughter from adultery, not from marriage. And the Quran no, says, okay, okay. Everything really, okay, according to Islam, let me ask you, according to Islam, if you have a son or a daughter from adultery, can she carry your name? What does that mean? Can she carry your name? Which means she can carry your last name. She can be accepted by you and society as Islam. According to Sharia law that they are your sons and your daughter. If it's in the Hadith and the Quran, then yes. No, according to Islam, and I challenge you, according to Islam, if you have a son from adultery, he cannot be your son. Even your prophet, he said that الْوَلَدُ لِلْفِرَاشِ وَالزَّانِ hajar, which means the one who is the son of adultery, he will be considered the son of the one who owned the bed, not the real father. Do you agree? Uh, Habibi, Habibi, I would like to get back to the topic. About we are in the topic. We're in the topic. We're in the topic. So you agreed and you admitted that the interpretation of Islamic scholars agree that you can have sex with your daughter. Yes or no? No. Okay, it's in the front of you. Read it for us. Okay, read it for me, please. Read it for me. Here we go. It's in the front of you. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi. We are back in the topic. This is this is disturbing teaching. No, no. I would I would like to talk about your problem with satanic verses. Because My I friend, we are talking about the satanic verses because I believe this is from Satan. That there is a prophet. He come to us and he say, "You can have sex with your daughter from adultery." Wait, wait, I heard you say in one video, uh, the uh, Quran gives uh, not authority or to Shaitan over Muhammad, yet uh, Shaitan controls him. I would like to prove that that's very false. That's very wonderful. That okay? okay, so you are changing the topic, but it's still it's, it's still a close because we are talking about satanic verses. Shaitan control Muhammad or not? Let us see if this is true. The satanic verses, number one, proving that Shaitan controlled Muhammad because he controlled his tongue, he controlled his mind. He made him say things which he should not say. This is number one. Number two, your prophet, according to the Muslims, he was under the control of a black magic. Is that correct? Black magic is not Shaitan. So what it is? It is uh, um, uh, magic revealed by uh, Harad and uh, Marut. Okay. Is, it is not... Uh, it has nothing to do with shaitan. Okay, so your God Allah, he sent two angels to open a school of Holy Potter and they teach magic. But who is the one who will <laughs> use? You are this. You are, you are the one saying that to me. Why you are laughing? Chapter 2, verse 102, it says, Allah, he sent Harut and Marut in the Babylon Tower to teach magic, correct? Yes. Okay, so they open a school of magic of Holy Potter in the Babylon Tower. Now, who is the one who learned from them the magic? The two angels. Who is the one who learned the magic from them? The uh, people of uh, Babylon, whoever wants to learn. Okay, read for me please, chapter 2, verse number 102. It says that Suleiman is not a kafir, but shaitan. They are the kuffar, who they are teaching the magic. Does it say that? Sorry, uh, can you show me? 
Okay, with chapter two, verse one or two, it's in the screen. You My can read. No problem. Here we go. وما كفر سليمان ولكن الشياطين كفروا يعلمون الناس السحر وما أنزل على الملكين بباب لهاروت وماروت. So who is the one who is practicing the bad magic on mankind? Is Shaitan? The Quran says that. So your prophet was controlled by the black magic, controlled by Shaitan. No, no, no. The uh, two angels uh, teach uh, magic, but. Um... Allah says in the Quran that whoever does uh, accept uh, teaching this magic, he will enter hellfire. My friend, does it say there that shaitans are teaching magic? Yes or no? Am I lying? Uh, no. Okay. No what? No, wait. Uh, Habibi, uh, I will call you back in just two minutes. No, no, don't call me back. Where you want to go? I'm enjoying conversation with you. You are a scholar. Wait, wait. My mother, will I, will I, I, will, I will call you back. I'm not going to stay here forever, my friend. Tell your mother this is important. You are defending Allah. He hang up. <laughs> Shaitan controlled the Prophet. Shaitan, he agreed that he received satanic verses. Muhammad is under the influence of a black magic. He said things he is not aware of. He do things he is not aware of, and yet we can trust him to be a prophet. I mean, what is more proves we need that Muhammad is a fraud? You know? We have a caller. I don't know. This is a different caller. We want to take the same person. We want the same person to call, please. <clears throat> Please don't call until the guy he called back. He promised he will call back. Let's see if he's a man who keep his promises. And he is the one who chose satanic verses. And you notice how Muslims they change topics so fast. From a place to a place to a place to a place. All of them do the same thing. And you have to be sure, like you have to force them to stay in one topic. Otherwise, they will be all over the place. And the reason they are all over the place because they are trying to escape the embarrassing moment. He called me to say, Muhammad is a person of mercy. The second we start showing him that Muhammad raping women, he changed the topic. My voice is on and off. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I apologize. My voice is on and off because the internet is bad. So you have you have to be here we go. He's calling back. Look like he is keeping his promise. That's good. Hello? Hello? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. So, so my friend, uh, my friend Mahdi, thank you for calling yeah. back first. Uh, now, your prophet is under black magic. Black magic is the, what is what it is. Is it a, is it an evil thing? It is uh, like a hand work of shaitan. Okay, it's a work of shaitan. That's wonderful. So, by the work of shaitan, Muhammad was controlled. How shaitan was controlling Muhammad, according to you? No, no, black magic. It was uh, controlled. It was uh, con okay, but the black one. magic. Why, why, you, why, why, why? It's is it like, okay? Is this magic is good or evil? I'm gonna explain. If someone uh, wants to uh, use black magic, he can uh, use. He can like um, uh, make the uh, person. They will uh, use the black magic on crazy, or they can do whatever they want. They can like divorce uh, his wife. Okay, so you are saying that the, the one who did the black magic to your prophet, he made him crazy. If you if uh, someone wants to, yes, but this uh, black magic only okay. lasted for one year, according to Ibn All right, Shah. okay, hold on. So, your prophet, according to you, okay, my, my friend Mahdi, 
uh, your prophet he became a crazy because of the black magic and you are the one who said they can make you crazy so your prophet became a crazy because of the black magic how we can trust a crazy man as you said to be a prophet of god it was only for one it lasted only for one year according to Ibn Shah. One, one year okay one year how many quran he made when he was a crazy guys our friend mahdi this is very important he I said think. He was a crazy, Muhammad was a crazy for one year only. Okay, how many years Muhammad was a prophet in his lifetime? 23 years. 23 years. So we can say that uh, at least uh, uh, maybe 1% uh, of Muhammad life, he was life as a prophet. Uh, he was crazy. So during the one year of Muhammad being a crazy, according to you, how many chapters Muhammad he made? But he was a crazy. Gonna, yeah. uh, when, uh, he was under the influence of Can you speak louder, please? I don't hear you, my friend. Can you speak louder? Can you speak louder? Oh, okay. Um, when uh, Muhammad was under the influence of black magic, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed two swords. Uh, one, I forgot the name of it. One is uh, Surah al Falaq, mm. which has five verses, and the other Surah has six verses. Mm. The God of them has 11 verses, and uh, uh, the, uh, Muhammad needed 11 knots because mm. the Shaitan, uh, uh, he, there was 11 knots to break, uh, and each knot mm. to break was to uh, reveal one verse. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the uh, two surahs together with 11 verses. Each verse mm. broke a knot, and when uh, they broke the knot, uh, Muhammad uh, was free from the influence of black magic. So you are saying to me that Allah, he could not free Muhammad from his black magic. It took him 11 months. It, it took, uh, each verse was uh, able enough to break one knot. Right. So th this is Allah, he sent those verses to get Muhammad out of the black magic. So it took your God, Allah, 11 months period so he can take muhammad from the black magic don't you think this is a very weak god it took him 11 months to fight a black magic made by somebody i mean what kind of god he cannot release his prophet from a black magic for 11 months and you are the one saying it took him to break two knots and what those knots is about what about tell me about the knots so if i make a knot for you i can control you no no but it's a hard, pretty hard to explain because it's not uh, explained in the so in the Islamic sources. But mm. basically, when uh, Allah says in the Quran that Muhammad will be uh, tested with uh, a lot of tests, like all all uh, tests uh, before Muhammad, uh, <laughs> all the prophets Allah uh, made before Muhammad, like uh, a lot of examples I can show you. But, okay, uh, show me an example of a prophet was controlled by knots. Why are you saying knots? Did you just say black magic? It's Why you are, you are saying knots? that, and the Quran saying that you are the one who mentioned knots. This is in chapter of Al Falaq, chapter 113. It says, Okay. Okay. So, how how a person can control you by the knots, and Allah took him 11 months to open those knots? Do you think that Allah, He need more training? Do he need to go to Hori Putter school so he can finish it faster? You admitted, and everybody heard you, that the prophet was under the influence of the black magic, which make him crazy, for 11 months. And it took Allah 11 months to take the knots out. It is, Allah's not going to like... Uh... Like Allah's not gonna wish to uh, release Muhammad from the black magic uh, at once. Allah tests the prophet. How how that can be testing the prophet? If the prophet now is a crazy, and that will not make him tested. This is not testing. This is this is this is humiliating. What the point of this testing? If if you are making things, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like uh, something I did not choose. Did Muhammad choose black magic? No. So if you force something on me, and then you say this is testing, this is crazy. This is not a test. This is this is kind of illness, right? Because you you are for you are controlling me. I have no control of myself. So what kind of God he allowed the devil or any evil uh, uh, power? 
to control his prophet who supposedly people will follow him now your prophet is a prophet of God and you Muslim you follow whatever he do whatever he say so you said for 11 month or a year Muhammad is a crazy man now how many things you learn from the crazy man during the one year can you tell me how many things you learn from him okay um um, uh, when Jesus was in the desert, he was tempted by Satan for 30 days. Mm. Is that? But uh, I'm not gonna say Jesus was uh, like a very crazy or something. Mm. Like uh, Jesus was, uh, according to your belief, still uh, he overwon that uh, temptation by Satan. No, you see the temptation so, there, Shaitan. He offered him things. Uh, Jesus, he refused. So he did not control Jesus. He did not uh, uh, make him do things. He did not make him say things. So Shaitan, he is just offering things. Jesus said to him, "It's it been said." You know, don't test your God. It's been said, don't do this. It's been said, don't do that. So she, this is just a conversation. Temptation is shaitan now offer me, let us say, to go and do, to do gambling. This is temptation. Did I do it? No. So this is a temptation of offer. Here we have your prophet is under the control of the devil. And you agreed no. it was for a no, period, no. for a period okay. of one year. So I'm asking you now, why Allah allowed the devil to do that to Muhammad who is going to be followed by Muslims now listen did Muhammad did something crazy when he was under the influence of the black magic yeah he was like uh, doing uh, imagining that he had uh, 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 sex with his wife while he did not all right that's wonderful so how that can happen and don't you think that this is mean that Muhammad he lost his mind a man he imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. So he what what he was doing? Um, no, but uh, this is talking about the daily life. Like Muhammad receiving revelations from uh, Jibril. Hmm. Uh, like imagine uh, Muhammad uh, getting revelations from Shaitan for one year. Hmm. For first of all, if that was true, then Jibril would have said to Muhammad after one year that you should. Uh, uh, like uh, delete all these verses you said because you were under the influence of shaitan hmm. okay and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he abolished everything that shaitan threw in that's so wonderful is by that's wonderful so according to you that uh, Muhammad was delivering satanic satanic verses for a year and then Jibreel he came and he told him oh, those are satanic verses we have to delete them because they are bad they are not from Allah okay how come Muhammad did not notice that this is from shaitan I'm, I'm not telling you he received the revelation from Shaitan for one year. I'm saying maybe if, but the uh, Muhammad was not uh, under the control of Shaitan. He was under the control of uh, a, ma a person spelling, uh, casting his spell on Muhammad for uh, one year long. Hmm. Not uh, Shaitan uh, uh, getting uh, Muhammad getting revelations for uh, Shaitan. But you admit that Shaitan he gave him revelation, but you do no, not no, know. I'm, I'm telling you if. What if? That's no, you said in the beginning, no, my friend, you said in the first thing you, you said to me when we start this topic, you said that, yes, you agree that Shaitan, he gave him satanic verses and Allah deleted them. Sorry, your, your mic is cutting off. Uh, what I said, you agreed from the beginning, you said, yes, Allah, he gave satanic verses and Muhammad, he received those satanic verses. And uh, Allah deleted them. Allah gave satanic verses to Muhammad. So uh, Shaitan, Shaitan, Shaitan gave satanic verses, and Allah He deleted them. But uh, when we look at the satanic verses, uh, Ibn Ashaq and the other early sources, it only mentioned the verse of Alat Manat and Al Uzat. It doesn't mention other verses. Imagine uh, like uh, Muhammad was. If Muhammad, I think 100% not, got the revelation from Shaitan for one year, then it would have also mentioned that. In that is wonderful, guys. Uh, 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 but you see, the Quran never mentioned that this is about the satanic verses, the one you are talking about. It says Allah will delete whatever Shaitan he gave, correct? Yes, but when we go to the, inter uh, not interpretation, but like even a shaykh, the life of Muhammad, all right. Uh, it talks about uh, the verse So that you are basing your belief. You are basing your belief in Ibn Ishaq or in the Quran. Both. Both. So if yeah. Ibn Ishaq he said but that he received more satanic verses, then we have to accept that, correct? Uh, 
can you repeat that? If Ibn Ishaq, he said that Muhammad received many satanic verses, then we have to accept that. Yeah, Ibn Ishaq never said Muhammad. Okay, well, the Quran said, the Quran said that Muhammad, he believed that the sun set in murky water. Why Allah will say such a stupid thing? This must be shaitan. What do you think? Okay, um, does the Quran say that the sun sets in the murky water, yes or no? In the Quran, don't you know? Okay, but uh, first of all, Allah says, never says in the Quran that the sun sets in the murky water, except when narrating someone's story. Okay, what the story says? It says he found the sun, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, he found the sun where? Thank you. And he found so, who is the one is talking? Is Allah? If Allah, He says He found that, that's mean He is reporting what He found, not His not opinion of the guy. If I say to you, Mr. Mahdi, He went to Baghdad and He found Baghdad very dusty, or there is a sandstorm. So, I am not telling you what He is saying. I'm telling you me what He found, which means this is what is true. Yeah, because uh, Al Baghdad is not in space. That is a very stupid uh, example you just gave. What do you mean? Well, I'm, I'm, what do you mean? Does the hadith confirm the Quran in chapter 18, verse 86? If there's a hadith, you are saying, if there's a hadith? Yeah, and I'm asking you, does the hadith confirm chapter 18, verse 86? Um, I don't know. Do you know any hadith confirm it? Uh, anyways, there are two narrations mm -hmm. from Abu Dhar, mm -hmm. uh, Abu Dhar Umbi. Mm -hmm. no, no one narrates this, Aisha and Asbin Malik, only Abu Dhar, which is mm -hmm. uh, suspicious. Mm -hmm. He says that Muhammad said uh, the sun sets in warm water, uh, Hamia, mm -hmm. and, but in, uh, in, in chapter 18, verse 86, it says that um, it sets in uh, murky water, Hamia. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the same I'll word, Hamia and Hamia are the same, my friend. Hamia and Hamia are the same. No, they are not the same. No, it's the same. They, go yeah. on, go on, uh, open the dictionary and you will see it's the same. Both is a hot water, hot water, and it's a murky. So, the hadith, uh, aren't you the oh, one who says, aren't, okay, don't you Muslims, you say that if the hadith confirmed the Quran, we accept it? Okay, does the hadith say that the sun goes underneath Allah's sun, which is above the seven heavens, but at chapter 18, verse 86 says it sets under the lowest heaven is it that a contradiction no hold on okay hold on hold on allah allah uh, okay uh, the, the sun go in the murky water but where is allah is located sorry allah where is allah is located that's not the question allah this is the question allah. because the sun is going under the throne of allah correct according to the hadith according to chapter 18 verse 86 if it's literal then it doesn't okay no, I'm asking you where Allah throne is located. Allah's throne above the seven heavens. Is it located over the water? Yes, but it did, in chapter 18, verse 86 says it sets on the lowest heaven on earth. If it's literal. No, my if friend, my friend, okay. I want you to read, okay, hey, my friend, my friend. Let us do this. Oh, wait. Uh, do, do, you, do, you, do you accept your prophet explanation or you don't accept your prophet explanation? No, my prophet didn't say that. The one who fabricated this hadith, he did not know that Muhammad said that All right. Allah is above the seven heavens. Okay, no problem. Let us see. I'm going to show you hadith in the screen and you tell me, uh, uh, you know, if you agree with your prophet or your prophet is making crazy stuff. No, Let us see. Uh, Abu Dhar or someone in the chain of narration made of uh, a fabrication. Okay, I'm going to show you a very sahih hadith, my friend. Is that fair? Is that fair? Very sahih hadith. Okay. It doesn't contradict Quran. No problem. You see, until now you did not find the hadith contradict the Quran because when the Prophet says he found it sitting, the sun set in the murky water, this is what the Quran is saying exactly. Now, yeah, but it says uh, the problem is that the chapter 18, verse 86, if it's literal, Mm. Then it says it sets on the lowest heaven, but well, the hadith say it sets okay. underneath the throne of Allah. What what a chapter you said again? Give me the chapter. What chapter number, please? Uh, chapter eighteen, verse eighty-six says it oh. sets on earth on the lowest heaven, but uh, the uh, hadith say it sets above the seven heavens. Now, how can this be? Uh, no, it doesn't say that. The hadith says that the sun goes and prostrate under the throne of Allah. 
And the Quran is a contradiction to that if it's literal. No, 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 no. Hold on, no. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let us read the verse. Chapter. You say the chapter eighteen. I will go to chapter eighteen in front of everybody. Chapter eighteen, correct? And what verse you want me to open? Eighty-six. Eighty-six. Wonderful. Here we go. We go to eighty-six. It says the later verses. He he found the sun rising again. Proving right. It is okay. The, Here we go. All right. All right. So the chapter eighty-six. It says that he found the sun sitting in a spring of uh, a, a muddy water, and he found yes, near it. What he found? Look, he found near it. How he can find yes. near it? Hey, listen, uh, th this is just from my uh, interpretation, his pers uh, pers uh, perspective, because Allah never says in the Quran that the sun sets uh, and emerges water from his own. Uh... My friend, it says it's Allah is speaking, not that, not the guide. Allah, He said, until He reached the sitting place of the sun. Where is the sitting place of the sun? I do not need to go anywhere. I can right now, as I speak to you, I am next to where the sun set because sun set everywhere. So it says here that He go in a journey. Allah wanna tell us a story about this man. He went in a journey. And he followed away and he keep going keep going keep going until when he reached the sitting place of the sun and he found it sitting in a spring of a muddy water so this is a report about a point of arrival it is the place where the sun set but this is mean that Allah believe that the sun set in a certain place not everywhere because he keep going keep going keep going and this guy he spent years in travel this is not about one day like the from the morning or afternoon. this is years of trip so he explored the whole world he arrived where the sun set he found it sitting in a spring of muddy water can you tell me how he saw it in a spring of water I'm asking you, does the hadith come from chapter 18, verse 18? Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. Here we go. The hadith says that your prophet said that he found it sitting in a murky water. Exactly the same. No, it doesn't say that. Okay, read it for me. Here we go. <clears throat> Why is it screen? Here we go. <clears throat> I will put for you on the screen in a second. Here we go. And this is not a da'if hadith. This is sahih chain hadith. You see, this is Sahih. So I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. Hamia. Yeah, and uh, chapter 18 verse 86 says uh, dark, uh, like a muddy water. How can it's the same. Hamia and Hamia is the same word, my friend. Hamia. No, okay, what Hamia mean? Okay, okay, what Hamia mean? Uh, Hamia means uh, boiling water. Correct. And this is a, this is a water in the ground, correct? No, it can mean any type of boiling water. So what are you saying that your prophet is saying that the sun was sitting in a dish? I'm asking you, it can be any type of volume, what it doesn't mean. Where My the, friend uh, Hamia, the Quran <laughs> have many ways of recitation. Some recitation says Hamia, some that says Hamia is the same word. You can open the dictionary right now. And if we go right now, listen, if we go, no, if we go, okay, listen, listen. So you're a prophet, he said here, hot boiling water. The Quran, according to you, says boiling and murky, correct? This is the difference, what is the big no. deal? He did not mention to it you the word murky. He he confirmed. He confirmed. Okay. Did he confirm? Listen, listen. Did he confirm that it's sitting in a spring of water? Yes or no? Uh, he said the uh, Quran says dark mud. Uh, no, no, no. This is not a question. Did he confirm that the sun set in a spring of water? No, it's a spring of dark mud in the spring of murky. My friend, does your prophet say? Did he say in the hadith? He he, he said it set in a spring of Forget about dark and, and warm and boring. Did he say oh, yeah. a spring of water? Does it, does it set in a spring of water? Yes or no? We should look at what type of water this is. It is no problem, but it's a water at the end of the day. If it's hot or not, that will not make a difference. If it's muddy or not, will not make a difference. It's a water. So the Quran agree with Muhammad here that the sun set in a spring of water and he is saying it's boiling. According to you, Hamia not only boiling, it is boiling water and muddy. Okay, but he did not he, no, did, he did not contradict. Water, um, why are you lying? It doesn't say boiling water and uh, muddy. It says only uh, uh, muddy water in the Quran. 
Okay, here we go. I will open the Muslim okay. translation. Oh, okay, let's see. You're calling me liars. You know, you're insulting me. Oh, here we go. Guys, does it say? Okay, hold on, hold on. Does it say? Does it say black, muddy, or hot water? This is your translation. This is your Muslim translation. I don't care, I don't care about translation. I, I am not English uh, good. I am it doesn't matter. The one, the translators, they are Muslims. So you are call, calling me a liar. What about we uh, will open the interpretation? My friend, I I know Arabic. It's like saying uh, hmm. saying what? You're giving me stupid. I know what the word uh, "hami" uh, uh, means. Okay, what the word "hami" I mean? Uh, listen, Habibi. What is the word "hami"? Uh, what, huh? what is the word "hami"? I mean, according to who? Muddy water. Okay, according to who? Muddy water. According to uh, Arabic, what do you mean? Uh, according to is that according to dictionary or according to you? According to a dictionary as well. What are you talking about? Ah, uh, okay. So it's a muddy water only. It's not a hot water, correct? No, no. Listen, you you are not getting my point. Hmm. The hadith say that the Quran, uh, the hadith say that the sun sets above the seven heavens and the Quran sets on the lowest heaven. Hmm. If we if we were to take the uh, hadith as Sahih and the Quran is literal. Mm. Then the Islamic sources say that the sun goes uh, uh, to the on the throne of Allah. The mm. sun goes out of the orbit and returns in the morning uh, mm. in the orbit. Mm. It doesn't say it sets on earth uh, in a muddy spring because the hadith and the Quran, where the sun sets, it, is a total fabrication. It's a total contradiction. Okay, but this is mean the Quran is false because you just said there's a contradiction. Or, or I'm asking you, or. Uh, the one who, um, if this hadith is a fabrication, then the one who fabricated this hadith that didn't know that Muhammad okay. said. Let, 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 uh, let me ask you. The, the, the Allah is above the seven heavens. Mahdi, let us take it one by one. Here, uh, this is Sahih Bukhari. This is a very Sahih hadith. I'm going to put it in the screen. Your prophet believed that the sun goes every day from the east to the west to prostrate and sell itself under the throne of Allah. Do you agree with your prophet or his lying? Uh, I don't believe this hadith is Sahih because it is contradiction to Quran. This is Sahih Bukhari. Yeah, so what? Uh, this is only narrated by Abu Dhar. Okay. Narrated by Aisha okay, and, but and but you're a prophet. But you're a prophet. Quoting the Quran, and he said, and this is what it's the sun runs into its fixed course, chapter thirty-six, verse number So this is in total no, no, no. agreement with the Quran, chapter thirty-six, yeah. verse number thirty-eight. It says, and and the sun yeah. runs into a fixed course. And Muhammad saying, and this is what it's meant that the sun yeah. run into. into so let let us make it clear. In order for Mahdi no, to no, get no. escape, Mahdi, I'm Mahdi, gonna, Mahdi, I will give you time to talk. Uh, Mahdi, Mahdi, hold maybe. on. In order for you to get escape from the from from the disaster, you are now saying that the Hadith of uh, Bukhari is lying, Christian Prince is lying. Oh, uh, Omar al-Khattab is lying. Everybody is lying. Habibi, listen to me. Chapter, uh, nowhere does it say Muhammad said uh, this is the meaning of the statement of Allah. It says that. Read it, my friend. Read it. Read it in front of you. Read it. This is your prophet saying that. Yeah. This is the translator putting his own interpretation. No, here we go. This is the Arabic. Here we go. Read the Arabic. Go ahead. You translate for us. No, 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 no. This is the Arabic. Read the Arabic, please. My friend, read the Arabic. Read the Arabic. Don't don't play games. Please be, please be honest. The, the Arabic in the front of you. Listen to me. The uh, the uh, chapter thirty six thirty eight is uh, meaning it uh, uh, the its fixed course hmm. is uh, underneath the Earth's horizon. <laughs> Okay, I will go with you. So, guys, the, the the fixed course of the sun is underneath the Earth horizon. That means the sun is moving. The sun is moving around the earth. The sun is moving around the earth, according to you. No, from the earth is moving around the sun. No, it says the sun. It says it says was shamsu tajridi mustaqarrin laha, and the sun run to its course. It doesn't say the earth run. It says the sun runs. Okay, because the sun is in the, the sun follows the heaven. My friend, what the sun follow the heavens? This okay. So you are saying the sun when we when we have morning and evening. When, the, when we have a sunset, that the sun is moving. So you agree with your prophet that the sun is moving, and this is how the sun disappear. Can you uh, repeat that? Okay. You are saying, and you agreed, that the sun is going. Does the sun go? Of course.
course, uh, the Quran says the sun is in the orbit. It's All right. So the sun goes, and he is talking about the sunset. So uh, 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 the sun goes every day from the morning until afternoon, until the, set, uh, the setting time, and the sun goes under the chair of Allah. Okay. But this is not true because the sun goes nowhere. It is the earth going around itself. Yeah, but I believe this hadith is a uh, total verification because it contradicts the Quran. In so we can say we can say me and Mr. Mahdi, I agree with him that Muslim source is full of lies, and Muslim are not trustworthy, and they lie a lot about their prophet. This is what Mahdi is saying to us. He is saying to us, we Muslims. Hold on, you are saying to me, we Muslims, including Al Bukhari, the most authentic source, we have a a lot of lies about the prophet. We lie a lot about him. Don't trust what we say. We are liars. No, I'm not saying that. Would you, saying you, you are saying Umar Khattab is lying. You are saying Al-Bukhari is lying. You are saying your prophet no, is lying. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Okay, let me ask you. I will make it simple. You see, you, you, can, you can go around as much as you want. The guy in the same chapter, we are not changing topic, in the same chapter, he keep going, keep going, keep going. He changed his direction. And then he keep walking until he found where the rising place of the sun. Yes, this proves that it's uh, not literal. What do you mean literal? No, he keep going. This is going, going. It's a trip. He keep going until he found the rising place of the sun. Where is the rising place of the sun is located? So, so according to you, uh, the Quran says that the sun goes under the ground. And it travels all the way to the ground and it's uh, right no above i did the not say that right. i did not say that the quran said the sun goes in the murky water i did not say under the ground i said in the water but you you just said that hadith uh, say the uh, sun goes underneath the uh, throne of allah it, and, the, and, the, and the throne of allah is above the water don't you know that yes but uh chapter 18 verse 86 says on earth okay but is the throne of allah is on the water on the earth or in different place where is the water located? It doesn't matter uh, where the water is located. It matters where the sun sets. Okay, the no problem. Where is... Okay, no, it's matter. The throne of Allah is located where? It's above the water. Where is the water located? <laughs> it, it says it sets above the seven heavens. The My friend, heavens. no, no, hold on, hold on. The throne of Allah is upon the water. Where is the water? Is in heaven or down in earth? Heaven, the throne of Allah is above the uh, heaven. So in the heaven, and, uh, Allah, He have Allah, Allah throne uh, over the water in heaven. Allah, the uh, water is underneath the throne of Allah. Okay, and where is the water located? Above the seven heavens. So there is a sea above the seven heaven, flying, and Allah in the top of it. There, uh, Muhammad explained this. Um, we got the first heaven, second heaven, into the seventh heaven, and above that is water, and above that is a throne, and above that is Allah. All right. So, according to you, here we go. You see, we are coming to a conclusion now. According to you, that the sun is going to a place, and that is a water under the throne of Allah, and it take a bath, and that throne, which is above the water, and but this water is not in the ocean. This is in the sky. This is what you are saying, correct? In the heaven, yes. Okay, so you agreed. So you, so you agreed now finally with the Quran that the sun dip itself in the muddy water, but this muddy water is not in the earth. My friend, you are not getting my point. The Quran makes a total contradiction to what the hadith says. Hmm. So what we are getting from you that you Muslims believe and you agree that you have too many contradiction stories about what your prophet said, correct? So is it, I'm asking you, is it possible? For someone to uh, replicate this hadith, since it's only narrated by Abu Daha, mm. it's only narrated by Abu Daha. Is it, is it not possible for someone to replicate this hadith? Yeah, but the hadith about your prophet, but the hadith about your prophet saying that the sun goes every day and take uh, uh, permission from Allah and goes and and, and then come back from uh, from the uh, from the east. This is not a fabricated because everybody reported. No, not everybody. That is a lie. Well, here we go. I can find you the hadith from many sources. This is okay, this, okay. this is written. This is written in many places. Okay, you, you see. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Sahih Muslim, at Turmuzi, uh, uh, Al Bukhari, etc. <laughs> they all they report the same story. But if we go right now and we ask you, do Allah even knew what He created first? 
Yes, of course he does. Okay, what is the first thing Allah he created? You see, remember, we're trying to prove that Muhammad is under the influence of shaitan. If Allah is God and he okay, is talking, right. he will not contradict himself, correct? Which, what is the first thing Allah he created? Uh, the first thing Allah created. I did not the hear heaven, you. Then the earth and then the six other heavens. The heaven and the earth, correct? And then the six other heavens. All right. So let us go in order. After Allah, he created the earth. What happened? What is next? I mean, the, the earth is created now. And then what is next after he created the earth? Uh, fashioning the one heaven which existed before the heaven into seven So heavens. he did not finish the earth and he go to heaven? What are you talking about? Listen. Which one he so finished first? Okay, let me, let, us, let, let me make it simple. Let me make it simple. Which one Allah he created <laughs> first? The, the, the water, yeah. the trees, or the stars? Uh, Mahdi, let us make it simple. Which one Allah created first? Yeah. The water, the trees, or the stars? We're talking about earth and heaven, right? Yes, yes. Which one Allah he created first? The water, the trees, the grass, the substance of the earth, or the stars? I think I got a hadith for that, uh, with Muhammad saying, uh, Allah created the mountains on Sunday and the earth on, uh, meaning the ground on uh, Monday. Mm. Uh, and then the, uh, I think he said the trees on uh, Thursday and then the light on uh, Wednesday. Okay, so the light I was created at the end. At the end? Almost, because, you know, uh, here we go. This is the hadith you are quoting for me from Sahih Muslim. It says that Allah yeah. He created uh, the clay on Saturday, correct? And He created the mountains, yeah, the mountains on Sunday. So do you agree with this? Of course. Okay. And then after He created the trees in uh, the, the the mountains in Sunday, He created the trees in Monday, and then He created the in, in, entire labor in Tuesday. Created the light in Wednesday, which means the last. After he finished the earth, he went and he created the stars, correct? Uh, let me read this. Um, uh, mountains is the first, uh, trees is the second. Mm. The, then Allah says, he finished the uh, entailing labor in English means uh, he finished everything else, the hard work. Mm. So first the mountains, then the trees, and then he finished everything else. And then he started to create the light, uh, which in my understanding is like Allah created the, the light, like just not with the creating stars. But I, uh, there's two interpretations for this. The sun and the moon. No, is tell me, no, tell me. Don't escape, don't escape that, please. What does light mean? He created the light in Wednesday. Don't tell me it's not, it's not what light? What, what is the light for the earth? Uh, the sun and the moon okay so it is the sun and the moon okay no problem so allah according to you and you agree with this that the first thing created is the clay in saturday yes. then the mountains then he created the trees and after that he created the light and the stars but well, that's wonderful but let us go to the quran and we will see that muhammad must be receiving satanic verses because okay, muhammad okay, no because no, muhammad no okay because muhammad say muhammad he says here we go, chapter 79, uh, verse number 27. You can open the Quran from your side. It says, And then, read the translation. Are you more difficult to create or the heaven he constructed? He raised it high. And he has equal order it. It's night covered by darkness. He created the night and the day. And then, and after that, he spread the earth. And after that, he made the, 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 the grass and the trees. And after that, he created the mountains. So this is totally, totally different order from the Hadith. Which one you uh, take now? Which is, which is different? It says... Which, uh, he darkened its night and extracted its brightness. I believe that this is talking about the stars and not talking about sun and the moon. Okay, isn't it? Isn't is it? Uh, no, it says it says. وَأَخْرَجَ ضُحَاهَا ضُحَاهَا. You know what duha mean? What duha mean? When the sun is what? Come on, you speak Arabic. What duha mean? 
So don't tell me it's not about the sun. So he here speaking about he created the heaven. He raised it above. He made the night and the day. And after that, he made the earth flat. And after that, he made the water come and the posture of the earth, which means the grass and trees. And after that, he put the mountains. But this is totally the opposite order from the hadith you said you agree with. Uh, let's see, the hadith, uh, it's, uh, well, you don't have to mention the heaven because uh, it says here, uh, he darkened its uh, night and brought out its brightness. I believe that this is about the stars. My friend, is the sun is a star. It says duhaha. What the word duhaha mean? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it doesn't. It, it doesn't say the sun. It, it doesn't say Shams. Okay, he says he created the light in Wednesday. We have only one light. He's he's talking about how he created for us what we have. What is the light we have in the earth? Is the light of the sun? Maybe the light of the moon. Yeah, but the Quran doesn't say the sun for the light uh, and the uh, the, the sun. The light for the uh, okay, no problem, no problem. But when the light is created, you see, the Quran says it clearly that the first he created it was the heaven, and then after that, after he created the heaven, he lifted it up, and then after that, he made the day and the night, and after that, he made the earth flat. He Correct, made the day and the night. Where do you read that? It says in chapter 79, verse number 30. 29, 28, it's in front of you, 27. And then after that, he put the mountains. So here the mountains is coming at the end. In the hadith, the mountain coming in the beginning. Here the, the water is coming as... Let me, let me, let me read that. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, I can explain to you. The Quran says mm. the heaven is the first uh, first thing, mm. and then uh, in my interpretation, the stars, mm. and then the earth, and uh, then he uh, started creating uh, the earth and the mountains, and then uh, at the last thing, he finished every creating everything else on the earth, and then he created the sun and the moon. Okay, wonderful. So which one do we accept now, the Hadith or the Quran? Because I just told you both. You have to listen to what I say. No, I did not listen to what you say. What you are saying to me, it's not the hadith saying, listen carefully. The hadith saying, Allah, he created the clay in Saturday. The Quran saying, the first Allah, he created is the heaven. No, 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 no. Are you trying to make a contradiction? The, the reason why uh, the hadith say uh, he created the... Uh, uh, yeah, the the uh, earth on the which day was it a uh, saturday mm. uh the reason why the uh, the hadith mentioned uh this before it uh, as uh, example in chapter 41 verse 9 to 12 mm. is because the six day creation in islam is not the heaven and the uh, earth and the six heaven the six day creation in islam is allah creating the earth first and mm. then fashioning the heaven which already existed before the earth into seven heavens. Mm. That is the six day creation in Islam. Mm. So when the hadith mentioned uh, uh, the uh, four day creation, like the mountains on uh, uh, Saturday, uh, the mountains on Sunday, earth and the uh, Saturday, okay. it mentions uh, 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 six day uh, uh, creation. Mahdi, 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 uh, Mahdi. So we will, not, we will not be confused. I'm going to type in the screen. I want you to make it clear for me. I'm going to type number one. Tell me what is number one Allah he created. I will type it in the screen. I will take a snapshot. So later you will not say I said that. You did not say that. Or you didn't understand me. So we can be clear about what you say. So I'm going to ask you now. What was number one is it created? Number one. Hello? Yes. What was number one Allah he created? We will go okay, like this. Number one, number two, number three in details. And we will take a snapshot so we will not be confused. What is number one? Uh, the heaven. Heaven. Okay. Uh, the uh, stars. Okay, number two is the stars. Correct? Okay. Uh, then the, just one. Uh, just stars. one by one. So number two is the stars. Just to be sure, we are not making things 
we are not getting uh, long, wrong information okay what is number three now What uh, Earth? All Earth or what exactly? Uh, yeah, uh, the Earth in the four day creation. Okay, Earth in four days of creation. Okay, in four days. Wonderful. All right. Now, what is number four? The Sun and the Moon. Number four is a Sun plus. Uh, um, the Sun and the Moon is like created. In the same period uh, of in the earth. Yeah, we don't care. I, I'm, I'm just asking which one is first. You said the first one is the heaven. Then Allah, he created the stars. Then Allah, he created the earth. And then uh, in four days. And then Allah. Uh, yeah, Hello? the uh, hadith basically mentioned the uh, earth being created in the same period with the... My, 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 my friend, my friend, don't explain to me now. I, I want you to give me the orders. When you say the earth created in four days. What do you mean the okay. earth created in four days? What is exactly created? Everything in the earth? Uh, uh, substance, as the Quran says. What is, uh, what is, uh, okay. Uh, okay, what, okay. when the mount, when the mountain was created in this uh, chain yes. in front of us, when the mountains was created? The, I think you should write a number three, the okay. earth, sun, and the moon. Let me erase, let me erase, number three. Okay, number three. Uh, let's just make it... Uh, larger number three okay so number one the heaven number two the stars and now number three is what uh the earth moon and the sun but no give me details what you know moon and sun the earth when he created the earth he created he finished all the work on the earth or he just created the earth finished all the work on earth in four days okay so did he he created then number three he created water do you agree and trees plus yes yes plus trees and then when the mountains was created and the mountains too yeah all in the same period of four days okay plus mountains all right that's wonderful so this is number three, and then what is number four? Uh, 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 the number three is uh, the sun and the moon and the earth. No, you, are, you said to me already number three. You told me number three is the water, the trees, the mountains. Yeah, uh, the uh, substance of the earth and the sun and the moon. This is all number three? Yes. Ah, but which one would be first, the water or the sun and the moon? The uh, water. The water. So that's mean we keep it in order. Number three is water, trees, and mountains, and then number four is sun and moon. What is next? Anything else? Uh, let me see. And then uh, the uh, seven heavens. This is number five, seven heavens? Yes. But I thought you said number one is heaven. Yeah, but uh, the heaven first, and then after the earth, he, created, he fashioned the heaven into seven heavens. All right. So, guys, this is the order, and everybody my witness. Do you have another thought before we go? Uh, no. No? You are sure? Yes. Okay, I will take a snapshot. Here we go. And I hope I will not lose my internet. And now we will go to the Quran. In the Quran, my friend, in chapter 41, verse. Yes. We start from the Quran. Let's go there. Yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fashioning the heaven into no problem just wait just wait just wait just wait just wait everybody saw what you said yeah okay this is the Quran says أَأَنْتُمْ أَشَدُّ خَلْقًا أَمِ السَّمَاءُ بَنَاهَا are you more difficult to create or the heaven he constructed so what at first the heaven 
رفع سمكها فسواها so he raised it above you know in order and then he made the light and the darkness which means the moon and the sun no no it doesn't say light and darkness okay my friend it says that he made night and he made a day it says that in front of you does it say the word night and the word day, duhaha, the daytime. We can open the, the interpretation. No, duhaha is when he spread the earth. Stop lying. Okay, here we go. He said the stop lying. I'm going to open interpretation. What interpretation you accept? <laughs> My friend, I, uh, Muhammad, he explained in the hadith. My friend, you just said, I am lying. So either you are lying or me. One of us have to get busted immediately. No. Which interpretation I, you accept to show you that this is about creating the day and the night? I believe myself that this is about creating the My story. friend, you just said to me, you are lying. You accuse me of lie. This is a shame. Shame on me to lie. So now, if you are sure this is what it's mean, what interpretation you accept? My friend, I, I don't uh, use interpretation. I use so, Allah and Muhammad. So why you don't accept? And are you saying interpretation? They will agree with me and they will not agree with you? What do you mean? The Quran and the Hadith is very clear. My friend, don't tell me what do you mean. Why the Islamic scholars, they agree with me, they don't agree with you? What are you talking about? Uh, I'm asking you, does it say that this is mean he created the day and the night? You said no. Because uh, this is their, this is what they think. This, they think, so they are stupid, they are lying. Ibn Kathir is lying, Al-Qurtubi is lying, al Jalalain is lying, all of them they are a bunch of liars and you are the only one saying the truth, correct? No, I'm, I'm saying this doesn't uh, uh, specifically have to mean the sun and the moon. It don't tell me don't specifically. Stuff. Based on what? If we go right now to the dictionary, what the dictionary says about Doha? It means spread. Uh, this is talking about the earth. Why, why are you lying? <laughs> well, I have all the interpretation in the world in the front of me, and all of them, they agree with me. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir, and you speak Arabic. Can you read for me Ibn Kathir? My friend, I don't care about uh, Ibn Kathir. Okay, so Ibn Kathir accused you to be a liar because he agreed with no, me. Okay, what about a Jalalain? Uh, they can be uh, wrong. Uh, but the, the, okay, so Ibn Kathir uh, is wrong. Okay, Ibn Kathir is wrong. What about a Jalalain? He's wrong too. He says, and you can read it. أبرز نور شمسها وأضيف إليها الليل. Does it say that? So a Jalalain is a liar too. Okay, what about a Tabari? Why do you have to mention uh, scholars? I, I just uh, because yeah, because you are accusing me of lying. One of us is lying. So the scholars they are lying too. No, they are not lying. They, they 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 say what they think. Ah, so why they think they don't speak with Arabic? They are they, they are they are from Afghanistan. Hmm? Uh, Baby, can you please show me from don't say my love don't say to me my love I'm not your love you see you are it's, it's very embarrassing that you are the one who accused me of lying the fact you are lying all the scholars no, agree that this right. is the day and the night and look what happened now look what happened hold on you are the one who said and I'm going to put what you said about the order of the creation and I'm so glad I took a snapshot because you will swallow your tongue in a second and already you are doing that you are saying uh, no, this is not the day and the night. It says the day and the night. Look what you said. You said number one is the heaven, number two is the stars, right? And then number three is the water and the tree and the mountains. Let us read the Quran. It says, well, ardu ba After he he created the sky, he made the light and then and the night and and, and uh, the day no. and the night. And then after that, he made the earth flat. And after that, he 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 made the water come out and the pasture. And after that, he made the mountains. But no, if no, wait, wait, wait. it doesn't say uh, after he spread the earth and after that he brought out its it says said, after, after that after it says well ardu ba'da dhalika dahaha what ba'du dhalika mean uh, my friend it says after that he spread the earth but it doesn't say after that he brought out its water and its it says that it says that it's in the front of you it says that it's it says, it's, it's it says don't lie okay read the, okay read the verse for me read verse number 31 don't tell me habibi read the verse read the verse what it says don't habibi me can you tell me what verse number 31 saying please 
and uh, uh, <laughs> now I understand why uh, scholars uh, like Muhammad Hijab do not uh, debate you. Muhammad Hijab is a scholar. Muhammad Hijab is an idiot. You, you know more than him. You are more brave than Muhammad Hijab. Do he dare to call me or let me even talk to him? He don't dare. You are more brave than him, and you are now getting busted. Like like Mimi Hijab and the rest. This why he don't call me. He's smarter than you. Muhammad Hijab is smarter than you. He did not call me. He did the right thing. You now getting yourself busted. You say this verse doesn't say the water, and the pastor. It says in the front of you. Read it. What the word maraha mean? Grass and trees. What the word water mean? Ma'uha. So why you are lying? But it doesn't say night or day. It says. Uh, it says night and days. It says night and day. I mean, it says he darkened its night and brought out its brightness. My, 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 my friend, my friend, I showed you all the interpretation. Name one for me. I agree with you. Just one. We have thousands of scholars interpretation for the Quran. Can you find okay. one? Agree okay. with you. Just one. Okay. Mimi Hijab, I agree with you. He's a scholar. According to you, Mimi Hijab is a scholar. Mimi Hijab, he don't have a high school in Islam, you idiot. What's wrong with you? Mimi Hijab is a scholar now? Okay, listen. It says that and after... No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You said Mimi Hijab is a scholar. What is the education of Mimi Hijab in Islam? Do you have a degree? So how he became a scholar for you? Yes. So you are saying to me now, Mimi Hijab is smarter than Al Bukhari, smarter than Ibn Kathir, smarter than Jalalain, and he knew better. And you are following him. So now you are worshiping Mimi Hijab. But here we go. I'm showing you the reference. This is Al Jalalain. This is Al Ibn Kathir. This is Al Tabari. This is Al Qurtubi. What about Al Qurtubi? What's wrong with Al Qurtubi? Do you think he's bad too? Okay. Now, uh, can I finish? Okay. Go ahead. It says after uh, Allah constructed the heaven, He raised it and He darkened its night. But it doesn't say that after that He uh, darkened its night. If this is talking about the sun and the moon, mm, it doesn't say after that. No, it does. It says and. Okay, here you see. Let us see when the word after started. It says here and after that, which means everything before it was before, and after here is after. Correct? Do you agree? So from verse number 27 to verse number 29, it was before. And then after that, he start working in the earth. Do you agree with that? Um, <laughs> I mean, it's simple. Sorry? It's very simple. Does it say in verse number 30 and after that, which means whatever before happened, it was before. Yeah, but uh, it says after that he spread the earth. It doesn't say after what? Uh, after that what? After what? After yeah, yeah, after I'm that saying, what? I'm saying it says it says on the chapter uh, thirty uh, in the verse thirty it says after that, but after that uh, on the next verse it doesn't say after that. It just says and. No, he continue. It says and after that and he continue after that. After all of this, after he made the sky, after he lifted us up the sky, after he made the day and the night. And after that, he made the earth flat because the ha I mean earth flat. And after that, he made the earth, he, he, he brought the water and the substance. And after that, he made the mountains. So the last thing he created. Sorry, your mic is cutting off. Huh? Your mic is cutting off. Can you please. Uh, I'm saying, I'm saying the Quran make it clear that first Allah, he created the sky. He made the day, he, he left the sky up. He made the day and the night. And after that, he made the earth flat. So after the word after that, anything after, and it says end, end, end. So he continued about after that. And he brought water and posture for the earth, which means grass and trees. And mountains. This is all belong to after that. You don't need to repeat after, after, after many times. So, and after that, he did the following. So the last thing in the chapter number 79, Allah created was the mountains. Do you agree? The last thing he created was the mountains? Yeah. That is a big fat lie. What are you talking about? It's in front of you. No, it, it doesn't say then he created the mountains and uh, that, that was uh, done. Uh, creation okay. The verse the here, the, the, does the chapter speak about the creation of the whole universe? Yes. So here it says, Allah, he created the heaven, verse number 27, and then he left it up 
and then he made the day and the night and after that he made the earth flat and after that he made the water and the grass and the trees and after that the mountains so what is the last thing was Maybe it doesn't say he created. First of all, it doesn't say um, he created. Like when we go to chapter forty-one, verse nine to twelve, it says uh, it's, it mentions the whole six-day creation as mentioned in the hadith. Mm. What which day was created there first? Mm. Then we get a detailed explanation explanation of uh, order creation. So mm. First was the my friend. Why are you uh, changing the topic? Does it say that the last thing he mentioned here? It is the mountains, yeah. yes or no? Yeah, because it, it is not the mentioning the six day creation, that is why. Okay, but he is giving you now in details who care about the six days of creation. No, 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 no. Okay. He, he's, he's not giving okay, let me ask you. That, what he's doing. Allah, he finished the earth first or he finished the sky first? Uh, the one heaven. Okay, chapter 2, verse number 29, it says, Allah, he created everything in earth first and then he went to the sky and he finished the sky. So which one of you is lying? It doesn't say that. It says. It says that. Listen, Habibi, listen to me so, so I can explain. Okay, go ahead. It says he, he created the earth and then he went to heaven. Okay, so and what he did? He he said he earth. said he created everything in earth. Correct, everything. <laughs> Does it say that? Can I? Yes, of course it says that. Okay, so let us make it clear, guys. It says that. Take note. He agreed finally. It is he who created everything in the earth and then he went to the sky, correct? Yeah, he, okay. he went to the heaven, so the heaven was already created. No problem, but what he did, this, but the heaven was not finished, correct? No, it, it was finished. He fashioned the heaven into seven heavens, so he made other six That's mean it's not finished. That's mean it's not finished. So he made them after that, he made them seven heavens. So the earth is done totally and the last thing is finished. He made, he went to the heaven and the heaven he made them seven skies do you agree uh first was the heaven then the earth and then the six other heavens where's the scientific mistake okay so now let, let us see according to you allah created the heaven first <clears throat> then he finished all the earth then he went back to the heaven and he finished the heaven correct then he, yeah then he made other six heavens okay that's wonderful if we go in the, hold on, 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 because because people will laugh in a second. People will laugh at what you said in a second, because the Quran said that Allah, when He went to the sky, the sky was a smoke. There was nothing. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. 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 <laughs> hold on hold on look at this Allah he made mountains Allah he made mountains this is chapter 41 verse number 10 he placed mountain in the earth so there's earth and he placed mountain do you agree mm, yes okay and he made all the substance substance of the earth in four days which mean water and trees do you agree yes okay at this moment there was nothing in the sky do you agree because it was just a smoke yeah, there's, there's heaven, but it was a smoke. But it was a smoke. There's nothing. There's no stars. Okay, listen, listen. No, no, no. There was nothing in the heaven. Yes, yes or no? That, to make it simple, there was only a smoke. Yes or no? No, I'm going to explain to you what the smoke is. Okay, what the smoke is? It says, it doesn't say after he went to the heaven, hmm. he created he, or he constructed the heaven. Because when we go to chapter uh, 79, verse 27 uh, to 20, uh, 30, hmm. it says, the heaven which was constructed and raised. So the heaven was constructed and raised. Mm. The reason why Allah says smoke is because according to scientists, mm. after the Big Bang, the, uh, the heaven was in a state of smoke for in a, a nebula, mm. which is smoke and uh, gas for uh, millions of uh, for billions of years. Mm. That is the but the heaven is still constructed and uh, raised, mm. like the Quran says. Okay. So now, what is the answer? There was when the when, when the heaven was a smoke. There was a stars or not? Yes, of course. There was a stars. Okay, that's mean. That, okay, guys. Yes, of course. He said when it's the, the sky was a star was a smoke. There was a stars. So Allah is a liar because the verse the verse after look how you get yourself busted. The verse after he says and then he complete and finished them from his creation and he created seven heavens and then he decorated them with the lowest lamps. Do you see it? 
it doesn't say then. It says that. It says that. It says that. This is by order. Then read with me carefully the translation in the front of you. Listen, listen, listen. The translate. This is your Muslim translation in front of you. You lied. You said that when the smoke, the sky was a smoke, there was a stars already. But look what the Quran saying. After that, then he completed and finished from his creation in seven heavens in two days, and he made each one of them heaven its affair. And then we adorn the nearest lowest heaven with lamps. So the last thing is created as the lamps. Okay, now let, let me get you busted and let me finish. Speaking. <laughs> First of all, what the Quran means by saying it is smoke. According to scientists, the heaven. After Don't tell me according to scientists. Don't change topic. According to scientists, according to, to scientists, okay. you you are you are making a scam right now. Don't change the topic. Don't go to scientists now. I'm asking you. I ask you. I said when you when the Quran says there was a smoke, there was a stars there already. You said yes a second ago. Yes. And okay. Can I but verse number twelve. But verse number twelve saying that after that Allah created the stars. Okay. In Arabic, it doesn't say then he uh, f uh, completed the Okay, my friend, which interpretation you agree with? Let, 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 let us get you busted again. Let us get you busted again. Which interpretation agree with you? Which interpretation agree with you that this is not about that this is stars are created now after he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke? There was nothing in the, in the smoke. Which interpretation says, agree with? It says, okay, it says, and he placed in the nearest heaven lamps. It doesn't say then. Line. Okay, so guys, he's saying and what does that and mean? That's mean in order. So he in the, the sky was oh, uh, okay. Stars. Hold on, hold on. If if the sky already have it's stars, it's hold on, hold on. If the sky is it's is now with smoke, the, everybody will everybody is laughing at you. If the sky, you say the sky when it was a smoke, there's a star. So why you need to make stars if they are there already? Because every star is uh, has its own age. One star is one million years old. <laughs> but they, they are there. He created them already. The, the verse saying the sky was a smoke, and then he com then this is your Islamic translation. Then he completed. It was not completed, and he finished them. And what he did in in two days, and what he did, he made each heaven its affair. And what he did else, we adorned the nearest lowest heaven with lamps. This is the last thing to be yeah, created. No. Can I can, can I explain? You, you, then, you did already. But let, me, <laughs> let, let me explain, Habibi. Uh, calm down. Let me explain. <laughs> uh, let me explain. It says then he. <laughs> it says then he uh, finished the seven heavens in two days, hmm. and he made uh, uh, the heaven. Uh, he placed in the nearest heaven uh, stars. Hmm. They are separated. Uh, the completing the uh, seven heavens in two days and hmm. the stars. Hmm. They are separated. I can hmm. prove that easily from Quran because chapter two verse. 29 says uh, he created everything on earth and then he finished uh, then he uh, rose to the heaven and created the heaven in two days it doesn't say and the stars okay they are, uh, separated it's, he it created it say, okay no problem nope who said who, who said we are saying separated we are saying that they are done in order they are not separated his no, work no. he's I'm working saying, now in the sky he is working now okay let me let, let me ask you why the Muslim and, and the translator he said then he completed why he's saying then he's lying? Because it says in Arabic, thumma, and it says in Arabic. Okay. Uh, okay. So Arabic what what thumma what thumma mean what thumma mean what thumma what thumma mean in Arabic? It says uh, it means uh, after that. Okay. No, no. What thumma mean? What thumma? No, no, no. Don't tell me. Tell me what the word thumma. How we use the word thumma in Arabic? It's talking about the heaven and not the stars. This is another question. Yes, no problem. The heaven was a smoke. I asked you. I asked you when the the sky was a smoke. There was stars there. You said yes. Because the uh, smoke thing is uh, still means the heaven is constructed and built, as uh, mentioned in the Quran. Okay. The reason why Allah said smoke is because uh, after the Big Bang, the heaven was in a state of smoke for billions of years. So my friend, my friend, my friend. First of all, you you you, uh, you know you are trying to. We are, we are going to talk about the Big Bang after we finish with this. Let us focus on this because the Big Bang will make will make will make everybody laugh at Allah because Allah He says the earth and the heaven they were one piece and He split them so there was earth and there was heaven and you are the one who quote for me the hadith that Allah created first Saturday the clay what Big Bang this the Big Bang believe the big the, the Big Bang believe listen listen the Big Bang believe that lights was created after the clay in Saturday. And then he created the 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 the, uh, uh, 
uh, the mountains in Sunday and he created the trees in Monday. I mean, what are you? This is a big bang. What's wrong with the Muslims? So look, look how foolish what you are saying to me. You are saying you believe in the big bang, which believe in many millions of years, while your prophet talking about Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Friday. And by the way, the hadith make, and by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, how many days the Quran says that Allah created the earth and the heaven? Six days or seven days? Six. So why the hadith saying a seven? It doesn't say that. Wallahi, it doesn't say. Okay, read it. Let us count together. Let us count together. Let us count together. Okay. Us count together. Okay. Saturday. This is Saturday. You see the hadith, right? Yes. Okay. Saturday, yes. and then Sunday. This is two. Yes. Let me let me put numbers so so we will not forget. Okay. Let me put numbers. Hold on. Okay. This is number one. Saturday is number one. All right. Let us make it red. Because most of Muslims they have a blind uh, vision. They see only the moon is split, but nobody see it except them. Okay, this is number one, and then Sunday, this is number two. Correct? Yes. All right. Now we have Monday, number three. Now we have Tuesday, number four. Now we have Wednesday, number five. Now we have Thursday, number six. And now we have a Friday, number seven. For Adam was created, Adam was created a Friday afternoon. Okay, now let, let me explain. And um, please, I can, can you just give me one minute. Do, do not interrupt me, please. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. The Quran and the Hadith say that the uh, 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 seven heavens was created uh, in two days and the earth in four days. Hold on, hold on, don't don't, don't change the topic now. Hold on, hold on. We are talking about the six days. So so why why you made me why you made me count the days? Why you made me count the days? Why you change the topic? Is it seven days or six days? Wallahi, I will explain to you if you just let me. Finish. No problem. But is, does it does it count here seven days? Yes or no? Okay, this Hadith is talking about the four days of the earth. Is uh, spreading the animals and creating Adam and uh, creating the sun and the moon. Are they part of the uh, creation of the earth in four days mentioned in the Quran? My friend, did your prophet say he created the last thing Friday? Adam, yes or no? Yes, but this, uh, this is not referring to the creation of the earth in four days. No problem, Adam but but, but did, did Allah finish his creation in six days or seven days? Six. Okay, but here it says that Allah is still working in Friday and he created the, uh, uh, the Mr. Big Bang. You said to me Big Bang, right? It says a Friday afternoon and night. Okay, let me explain. Mm. Here, it, the Hadith talks about creating the earth in four days. It says uh, he, on the, he created the earth on Saturday and created the mountains on um, Sunday and created the trees on Monday and he created everything else on uh, Tuesday. So these are four days. Creating the earth, uh, creating the sun and the moon mm. on Wednesday. Mm. This is not part of the earth, and causing animals to spread is not part of the earth. Mm. And Adam is also not part of the earth. So mm. what are you talking about? But Adam is not part of the earth. He is part of the heaven and the sky. My friend, the causing animals, to, causing animals to spread is also not part of the creation. The sun and moon. Really? Is also so who is the, the who is the one who created? Animals. So did he create the? When you say the spread, does that mean he created the animals, or he did not create the animals? It doesn't matter. Do not change. No, it matters. It's a creation. So you are lying again. So Allah here, Muhammad, Aka Allah, he is saying it is seven days. And by the way, you said to me the Big Bang. That does the Big Bang believe in the Friday afternoon? The the the, the scientists they say that there is Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Adam was created in Friday afternoon. That's what the Big Bang people say. The Quran says that the earth is created in four days. Yes, it's causing animals to spread in the sun. Okay, hold on. The Quran doesn't. The Quran earth. doesn't. The, the Quran doesn't say that. The Quran says that Allah created yes. the earth in two days. No, listen. Let me get you busted. The Quran says yes, yes, yes. Allah Allah created the earth in two days, and then He created whatever in the top of the earth in four days. Yes or no? This is referring to the four days in one period at the same time. How 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 you know that? If it is the same time, why why he's dividing it? Listen, 
Because listen, because the hadith confirms. Okay, okay, no problem. You know what? I will go with you. I will go with you. I'm trying to get away. Let, let, let us make it simple. Which one Allah created first, the trees or the stars? Give me an answer, final answer. Trees or stars? Um, uh, the trees or the stars? The stars, every star is uh, has its own age. One star is one billion, one star is ten billion. So don't tell me 10 billion nine either tell me is this in which one Allah created first the stars or the water and the trees and the mountains which one come first See, you're changing topic again because I'm not this is the topic we are talking about this for the last hour my friend what change the topic what Allah created first the stars or the water the tree and the mountain those are in the earth water tree mountains which one Allah created first Keep changing topic, man. We are not changing topic. This is the topic. What's wrong with you? This is the topic. We are talking about this for the last hour. You are saying I'm changing. Which one Allah created? You are afraid to answer. No, I'm not afraid. Okay, give, give me the answer then. You are a Muslim. You are a, you are a Muhammadan who worship Muhammad, who kiss a black stone, who go around the stone. Can you tell me please which one Allah created first? The stars or or the water and the tree and the mountains? Please. Final answer. No games. Just, uh, why 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 need habibi why why you don't tell me is, is it is it a problem it's a problem obviously it's a, because there's a contradiction which one allah created first the stars or water and trees and mountains let me read the, the sources first. no don't tell me we are reading this for the last hour and you are playing games i want the final answer you are playing games which one allah created first stars or water trees and mountains uh first of all the, yeah if allah says then he created the stars that would have been a uh, like that like that would have been if allah says he created all the stars uh in the same period that would have been a mistake because every star my friend don't tell me mistakes i want the correct answer forget about the mistakes i want the correct answer which one allah created first the stars which is in heaven or the water the tree in the mountains stars okay guys did he say the stars thank you very much the stars was created first but if we go in the Quran we see that the last thing after Allah he finished the earth it was the stars not the not 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 what you are saying here we go no, it no don't 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 play games everybody is laughing at you my friend everybody is laughing at you here we go here we go here we go Allah he finished everything in the earth this is a chapter number 41. He created the earth in two days, and then he made everything in earth, including water, mountains, substance, etc. And then after that, he went to the heaven, and he completed the heaven then. Thank you for calling me. You got your prophet busted. No, but it, it doesn't say then he created the stars. So it says that. It says that. It's in the front of you. Then he went up to the heaven to do what? The heaven was empty. There was only a smoke. And then, read carefully, then then he completed just go. You, you see, I hang up on people because I'm wasting my time. Don't make me hang up because you're not being honest. It's in the front of your eyes. Okay, let me explain. You, you're not letting me explain. I'm what explain? You were explaining for the last hour. You got yourself busted. It says in the front of us, then he completed and finished. And what he did, how he completed, he created the stars. Doesn't say that he completed it by creating the uh, seven heavens only. <laughs> Does it say he created the stars then? No, it doesn't say then. Okay, read it. Fine. Okay, okay. Allah is mentioned in order, right? Allah he mentioned in four days I made the earth, and then after that he went to the sky, correct? So what happened after he went to the sky? Tell me. After he went, he finished the earth, then he went to the sky. What happened after he went to the sky? Tell me, please. Why Allah doesn't say then he created the stars is because Allah is aware of the stars, every star has its own age. So, this is not the stupid, this is not, don't play games. I'm asking you, after Allah he finished the earth, he went to the sky. What he did exactly after he finished the earth, according to the Quran, he, he, he finished the uh, uh, seven heavens into two days. As and what he did, and what else, and what else he did. Let, let me finish, let me finish, let, hmm. let me finish. Hmm. It's chapter 2, verse 29, it says. 
after he created the earth, he went to the heaven and made the heaven into uh, two days. It doesn't say, and he made the heaven into two days, and after that, he created the stars. Hmm. Why are you lying? So which one? Why, why? So, oh, so, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said, and after that, he created the stars, correct? No, you I'm just said that. that. You just said that. You just that. you just said I'm that right. yourself. You just said that no, yourself. I'm saying it doesn't say that. You should listen clearly to what okay, I said. Okay, okay, okay. So hey, hold on, hold on. I'm going with you. Everybody is laughing. We are dying at at, at your lie. Desperately trying to defend. Look, it says here that Allah He finished everything in the earth, and then then He went to the sky, and the sky was a smoke. Okay. After then, after then, what happened after that point? Then. What Allah he did exactly? Count for us things, please. I'm going to type them in the screen. After the word then, what Allah he accomplished in the sky? I'm going to type them one by one. Go ahead. Stop. He, he made seven heavens and then he did nothing. Seven heaven. What about the stars? My friend, every star has its own age. What are you talking about? This is not about? the question. What age? Listen, what is the what he did after he made the seven heavens? What he did? Nothing. But the verse saying he created the stars. No, yeah, but it doesn't say then he created the stars. The reason why Allah says and he created stars is because he Allah is uh, filthy liar. Don't call me again. You see, I gave you more than two hours from my life, you liar. And when I say you what interpretation you like me to read, they agree with me you don't want interpretation. For you are a fraud like your prophet. No wonder you you like me, me hijab. I mean, it's in front of us. Why I want to waste my time with a little kid repeating himself. It says, then he completed, which means the sky is not completed. And what is not complete about it? He created the stars. Very simple. This is a total clear contradiction in the stupid book of Allah. Muhammad is the messenger of the devil. And he agreed that he received. This is what we get from this guy. I want everybody to download this video. I challenge this Abdul to download this video and give it to Fifi Farid. And post it in your, in your YouTube. So people will laugh. It's so clear in front of you. One Quran saying Allah he finished the earth first and then at the end he created whatever in the stars you want to say to me the heaven is sorry in the in the sky the heaven was created already no problem but which one Allah created at the end one chapter saying something the other chapter saying something there's the way God he will say that God do not remember which one he finished at the end which one he created in the beginning why he is suffering some from Zaheimer. He don't remember. Look at the order. Chapter 79 says, Allah He created the sky. Then Allah He raised the sky. Then Allah the liar he said here, this is not the day and night. We open every interpretation. They say it's the day and the night. It's even they say in Arabic, Laylaha. And here it's day. And after that, so when the earth he start working in it, after he made the day and the night, after which means after the stars is created, but here after that he start working in the earth. After that he created the water. After that he put the mountains. In chapter 41, the order is totally the opposite. In the beginning, he put the mountains. In there, the mountain was at the end. He made water, mountains, everything in the earth in four days. Then he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke. We said to him, when the sky was a smoke, there was a stars, the liar, he said yes. But the verse says, then he completed and finished them. He's a creation, so he's a creating still. What he is doing? He created them seven heavens. In two days, and he made in each heaven, you see, he have to create the heaven first in order to make what is inside it. So now, and then he created them seven heavens. Before that, he cannot create what is inside. 
unless you create what is outside, which is the heaven. So now he created seven heavens, and then inside those heavens, he created the lamps. And the liar, he says, no. <laughs> Say hello to Mimi Hijab, and don't forget to give him my video. Coward. No dignity. People are laughing at you, and those videos are pri priceless. And Big Bang, a Muslim, he believes in the Big Bang. Muhammad, he says, Saturday, he created the clay. This is Big Bang. The light was created in Wednesday. This is Big Bang. The Big Bang is you. The big scam, the big fraud. This is the Big Bang you have. It's a Big Bang in your head. <clears throat> no, we will not take more calls, and that's enough for today. I lost my voice. I apologize. This is how stupid to defend such a stupid cult. It's so clear. And the funny, you know, I show him Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Jalalain. He say, oh, my friend, let me explain to you why I don't uh, care what they say. They are wrong. What do you, what, what do you mean they are wrong? This, you see, they say Christian Prince is lying. Now, Al Qurtubi is lying. I will open for you Al Qurtubi and I will click English translation. Hold on. English. Hmm. This is Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Kathir. This page have all the interpretation. All of them, they are saying day and night, the sun, the day and the night. Ibn Kathir, here, translate into English. No shame. They have no shame. He made her day was shining bright and clear. He made her night dark and dark. Ibn Kathir. He says this is not about the day and the night. This is Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari. Which one you want? All they are saying the day and the night. Liars. And this is about the creating the lamps. You see it? The sun. No shame, no dignity, no honesty. This is why when we say we are debating Muslims, we are not debating Muslims. We are cornering them. They don't debate. They are deceivers. How many times the word appear here, the sun and the sunrise? So Allah created the night and the sunrise. Tafsir al-Tabari. Tafsir al-Qurtubi. Tafsir ibn Kathir. Who is else here? Let us see. Al-Qurtubi. Al-Jalalain. All of them, they say it is about the day and the night. Don't you have a shame? No, they don't have a shame because Islam based on shame. It's a shameful cult. He created its night. He created its sun. This is what the verse means, duhaha. No shame. And the poor me is uh, spending the time trying to like say to myself, maybe this guy, he do not know what he's talking about. Have patience. No, he speak Arabic. See, he created and he cover her, her night, sunlight. And add the night because it's shade and the sun because it's her lamp. At-Tabari, Ibn Kathir, Al-Jalalain, all of them, they are lying like Christian prince, brother. Christian prince is lying to us. Hmm? You see this, how many times the sun appear in the interpretation? And the potato, he's saying to me, it doesn't say, this is not about the sun. Every single scholar agree with me. Garbage in, garbage out. Don't forget to say hello to Mimi.
<laughs> and by the way, in the Bible it says you can sell your daughter. <laughs> My friend, you're a prophet. He sent his daughter so somebody will check her legs. You know what I'm talking about, right? This is what Muhammad he do with his kids. The Quran says, if this is a book not from Allah, which means not from God, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. And what more contradiction than this? A God you don't remember which one he created first. I always delete my videos because they flag me, you know. And the people they download the video, search the same title, you will find it. I don't delete my videos until people download them. My videos are over. Nobody can delete them. So don't complain. And if you are worried about my videos, why you don't download them? I encourage Muslims, Christians, Hindu, Buddhists to download my videos. And here we go. This video is going to stay there for a few hours and later we will take it off. Download it, post it all over. I challenge this Mimi and Susu and Fifi to put this video in their channel. And I like what he said, by the way. He said he agree that the prophet, he receives satanic verses. Mimi Hijab, he said this story is fabricated. Fifi Farid, he said this story is fabricated. This guy, he agreed with it. And not only that, he agreed that his prophet was under the influence of shaitan for one year. One year, and he said that black magic will make you act crazy. He said that, correct? So this call was, right, really, uh, maybe later I will unblock him because I'm, I'm done with this kid. I'm, I'm lost my patient, man. I'm repeating myself for the last two hours. And then when we say, okay, what one, which one created first? Just tell us, man. He will not, they play games. Even the hadith, which he is the one who called for me. Imagine he is the one who chose this hadith, not me. He is the one who said that Allah, he created uh, the mud in Saturday. It was his choice. And the light in, when is, in, 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 in Wednesday. And he said, uh, this is not the sun. So what it is? There's only one light? Yes. For what? For the earth. Crazy people. And not only that, by the way, do you remember that the that did that the funny did that he was saying to a uh, to a Christian uh, a minister? <laughs> the Bible, the Bible says that God, your God, He created the light in Wednesday, so the earth was in darkness for all those days. Did that the idiot did that? If did that was in the front of me, I will smash him because the prophet he is adopting what it says in the Bible that it was in the fourth day, as you see it in the front of you. When is they? So the potatoes, they make fun of your Bible, but they do not know what is in their book. Muhammadan is the same as a camel. He thinks he is so handsome. His back is straight. Because he doesn't have a mirror. Do you see it? Go and watch the video of the dad making fun of the Bible, teaching that a God he created the the, the 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 sun in Wednesday. And by the way, God in the Bible says the first thing he said, "Let be light," and light was, which means light is exist before he created the the sun. Let be light. Now I say to this gentleman even though he's trying to lie, I invite him to come to Christ and be honest with yourself, sit alone, read the interpretation of the scholars, read the Quran, be honest. If you are really a real man, you will leave Islam immediately because I and you saw the proofs so clearly. I understand you are trying to defend your cult, no problem. 
you you feel like you're offended because Islam is stupid, no problem. But why you want to stay stupid? How dare you to stay stupid? Very simple way to prove Islam to be. And look what we learned today from this call. This call is very important, by the way. I want everybody to, uh, because this guy, I think he was going later to tell the Mimi Hijab and Farid, I called the Christian prince and I got him busted. Obviously, you got me busted, big deal. You admit that the Prophet, he received satanic verses, which means he is a messenger of shaitan. This is what it's, this is what it's mean to receive satanic verses. Muhammad is an antenna for satanic verses. Why Jesus did not receive satanic verses and God will take what Satan, shaitan he put in his mouth? Why God did, did not say, Musa, he have satanic verse? Why Muhammad? And what Muhammad said, he was worshipping the three daughters of Allah as he agreed. How a person claiming that he worship one God, but hypocrite, he's a hypocrite man. When he is with the pagan, he's a pagan. When he is with the Jew, he's a Jew. When he is with the Christian, he's a Christian. When he's with Sabi and he's a Sabi and he's the same as Obama. Obama go to Jerusalem, he wear the hat of the Jews. He go to Egypt, he quote Quran. He go to the uh, Af African church, he read the Bible and he and he sing the Bible with them. He go with the atheist, he make fun of the Bible. That is Muhammad. Hmm. You deleted the video. I write it. What write it mean? Uh, uh, Abdul Potato Mahd. What what uh, what video you write it? What does that mean? Delete the video. I write it. What does that mean? All my videos are there. Search for the title. It's in the internet. You are a potato. And here we fry you. Will you delete? I delete all the videos. Don't you see? If I am not deleting my videos, I should have now tens of thousands in my channel. That's why I keep saying, download my videos. And I challenge the Muslims to download my videos and post them in their channels. Let us see how many people will see Christian Prince's line. Especially this call. This guy, he was, uh, uh, you know, thinking that he can do something. And thank you, Lord. He got himself. Let me explain to you. Every star has his own age. Allah, he finished all the stars in one time, you idiot. In one day, what age? In one day. Is what? And what does have to do even with the topic? The question is, when he created the stars, before or after? They have different age, they have different height, there is, some they, they are youth, some of them they are old. <laughs> I did not give him a topic, he is the one who chose. You see, it's not me who chose the topic. He's the, he's the one who called me. The first one about Muhammad Merciful, he changed the topic. Correct? Satanic verses, he is the one who chose it, not me. None of the topic he spoke of is my choice. It was his choice. If you are the, the person who call me and you are prepared with the choices of topic, and this is happening, what if you don't you are not prepared? But you know, I'm I'm so happy that he called me. Actually, I I, I should not I should not hang up on him, but I lost my patient. I can't take it no more. I'm, uh, for how long I'm talking two two hours with him? And we go back to zero, which one he created first? And and the funny, he insists, it doesn't say then. It doesn't say then. Look, it doesn't say then. It's in front of you. Are you mentally ill? Hey, Christian Prince, you're lying. 
Then I show the interpretation. He don't want to accept the interpretation. Obviously, we know who's lying. Then he completed. So it was not completed. So what happened then? What happened? How he completed? He finished them. He made them seven. So there was no seven heaven. There was only a smoke. So he made seven heaven. And then what he did after that? Because you made the scars, stars inside the seven heavens, but yet there's no seven heavens. <laughs> I asked him here, when the sky was a smoke, there was a stars. He said, yes. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to say thank you. You see, I lost my day. Look, I have, it's one, it's like almost, man, it's almost three o'clock now. So I want to say, uh, thank you for being here. Please download the videos because the Muslims, they will fight those videos and they will try to take them down. Download it. All videos I make, any videos, feel free. All my videos are made for you, not for me. I do not need videos. I'm not really interested in them. I make them for you so you guys can learn. Download it and share it. And if you speak that different language, I'll subtitle. You can cut this video from like if you want to make just a the, the if we can call it a debate I don't call it those are kids they are kids literally kids you see a person who have knowledge he will not say what this guy he said why because denying what the hadith is saying is a stupidity denying what your prophet saying is a stupidity I show him sahih hadith he don't want to accept it Al Bukhari he don't want to accept it this is the sign of weakness. You show me the Bible, I don't say I'm not going to accept it. So when they feel that they are under a threat, they go in denial. The threat of Islam being exposed. So suddenly we refuse what Muhammad said. We refuse what Al-Bukhari said. We refuse what Al-Tabari, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Jalalain. All of them, they are scammed back. And Christian Prince is a liar. Garbage in garbage out thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you i'm losing my voice and thank god we did not lose the internet will be embarrassing if we lose the internet the guy he will say i called christian prince and he is a brother and sister i called the christian prince and you believe it or not he hang up and he ran away <laughs> and he claimed he lost his internet Honestly, I was afraid because I was losing my internet many times during the broadcast, right? I was afraid I would lose the internet. Then they will go and say, that you run from a Christian prince. Christian prince, you run away from me. <laughs> run, run, run away. Run, run. What a potato cult. Anyway, thank you guys. Again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And it was a wonderful morning to have a cup of coffee with you. And now it's time for lunch. And nobody here is to cook to, for me. Unbelievable. Okay. I'm going to slaughter an egg again. You know, the fastest, the easiest, and the best friend for a single man. Break an egg. As simple as that. Thank you. And see you soon. Take care.